Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be grocery store plant shopping at the Trader Joe's out in McKinney, Texas. As always, please make sure you are hitting that like button and following me on Instagram at Grow Folds, as well as hitting the subscribe button with the notification bell on for daily plant shopping videos. So it is a beautiful sunny morning out in McKinney, Texas. This is the Trader Joe's in El Dorado Parkway Road. And you can see right off the bat when you walk into Trader Joe's, it is one of those grocery stores that um, sells a lot of like organic items. Really love going to Trader Joe's for a lot of things, especially plants. And you can see just from the entrance as I pan around, they've got a bunch of beautiful plants. So we've got some Alpina plants here. So these are ginger plants. This is for 12 $12.99 in a six inch planter. Notice how this um, has some nice green foliage. So I've seen some more highly variegated versions of the variegated ginger. This plant is very hardy. It can um, be grown indoors, although I haven't had the best luck growing indoors. It really needs to be grown outdoors. And for certain grow zones, these plants can actually be grown outdoors. I've seen it in Houston, Texas, where they've been able to grow these year round. Now I am based out in North Dallas and um, variegated ginger just doesn't do well for me grown outdoors as well. So again, plant foldies. And for those that are new to the channel, I call my viewers and subscribers plant foldies. Um, it just really depends on your grow zone, but you can see right here. I love these. These are azaleas or azalea simsii. These are considered indoor azaleas or azaleas that need to be grown indoors. I used to show a lot of these, um, especially when I went to Kroger grocery store. That's another grocery store I like to go plant shopping. I haven't done a plant shopping video where I feature a lot of grocery store plant so today you are in for a treat and you can see over here this is for $12.99 and you are getting a really nice size plant so Trader Joe's obviously in my opinion has some of the best plant pricing that you can find in the market I mean right over here these are some azaleas these are the large azaleas for only $10.99 and if you go to another grocery store these are usually $19.99 so you're literally saving quite a bit of money um, I want to go ahead and bring an azalea back into my home the two that I bought on clearance for six dollars they just ended up not doing well for me and ended up dying just because azaleas indoor azaleas they have to be watered quite often and if you've been following my plant shopping videos I've um, told you guys about how I've struggled just watering my plants I just haven't found the time to really take the time to water them and I know that sounds like a very basic concept but it is really a crucial one whenever you are taking care of plants you really have to have the time for the actual plant care and as um, silly as that sounds um, that is really where the demise of some of my plants are including my um, indoor azaleas you know um, azaleas in general need to be watered quite often they never really want their soil to dry out completely and so that's what happens. What happens is whenever the soil dries out completely and you don't water it for days, um, the health of the azalea really doesn't bounce back once you try to water it. So, um, you know, fruit for thought. It's one that I definitely will not add to my collection anytime soon just because I know I don't really have the time. I'm actually editing this video as I, um, I get ready to go to work so I can have this live premiere ready for y'all. So um, hopefully you guys appreciate my efforts to give you guys daily plant content. I do enjoy it. I love it. And um, hopefully you'll see what cool plants I have today in store for y'all. But you can see here, these are some Kalanchoe. And notice how these Kalanchoe are just gorgeous look at all of the pink blooms there that they have and i didn't even realize that kalanchoe were were succulents until this year so look at that um this particular kalanchoe is really grown for its actual bloom some kalanchoe are just more of a succulent type plant this one obviously is um, still a succulent it does have that succulent type um, texture to the leaves but it is a profuse bloomer now with this particular plant you do need to give it a lot of light um, in order for it to really maintain its bloom um, so this uh, you know a couple of care tips for that the good thing about kalanchoe flowering ones is they don't necessarily need as much water since it is a succulent and then over here we've got a bunch of miniature roses for 11.99 these are in 
six and a half inch planters i believe and they have a variety of different colors in one pot i've bought miniature roses from trader joe's before but the thing about miniature roses is it is a rose and with roses they have a couple of things that need to um, happen for them in order for them to thrive number one they really need a lot of sun and if you grow them indoors they have to be in a sunny window if you don't provide it with enough light it won't do well it will not bloom and then number two you don't want to get the leaves wet you really want to water from the base um, otherwise you will invite um, pest to the row so um, over here we've got a bunch of beautiful lavender pl um, plants I love this as well the smell is really relaxing and this is only for $7.99 so you're getting a bunch of cool plants from Trader Joe's now some people actually grow lavender in their in the ground as well so it really depends on your grow zone um, it has a very calming effect um, for sure and whenever I get stressed um, I definitely like the scent of lavender it's a calming effect so that is an actual full full plant for only seven dollars and 99 cents and you can see this is just the um, entrance part and i do like how they merchandise their plants the thing about trader joe's is they get plant restocks daily so if you are a big trader joe's fan um also check for the house plants so as i walk into the actual grocery store you can see they've got to my surprise some um premium alocasia for 13.99 so these are alocasia polys now um these are a nice size for six dollar i mean for six inch planters um these are for 13.99 and i think that is a really good price for an alocasia now if i um, will be honest with you i'm not as big of a fan of this particular alocasia because for some reason this particular alocasia tends to get spider mites a little bit more so than the other ones now in terms of the beauty of it it is absolutely gorgeous alocasia love all of the leaf um interest that it has it's got some tech nice texture about it and then the purple undersides of this particular alocasia is really nice what i would say about alocasia and i know a lot of people will agree alocasia are more of a challenging plant because they do require a little bit more humidity um, you need to stay on top of their watering they like to be watered um, when they're about like 50 percent um, dry so you don't really want to just dry them out completely I have been very bad about just drying out my alocasias completely and then not watering it, noticing that. Um, they don't do very well when you just don't have the consistency. But um, if you do struggle with alocasia, what I would recommend is actually growing them outside in a shaded patio. I've noticed that any of the plants that I'm struggling with or trying to rehab, I just put them outside and let nature do its thing and it does well. And then these are beautiful, um, semi juvenile these are pretty much juvenile um, monstera deliciosas because you can see that it still has that heart shaped leaf um this one is not a bad price at all at trader joe's you notice that um in the price tag it is not a bad price at all and this one you know it's a beautiful monstera deliciosa it isn't a six inch planter so it's already in a good size pot typically this would be more like twenty dollars but um, at trader joe's you can get them for 12.99 that's not a bad price at all and I have two Monstera Deliciosas that I'm growing. I'm actually glad that I actually just have the basic green form. A lot of people run for like variegated Monstera, um, um, Monsteras, but the green Monstera Deliciosa is still a beautiful plant. Now, all of these foliage plants here are for $7.99. And this one is an Epipremnum Arium Marble Queen Pothos. Really like the look of the Marble Queen Pothos right over here. Nice variegation. Um, beautiful look about it and what i like i do like about this monstera i mean not monstera but epipremnum aria marble queen pothos is it is not a bad price at all and i, I love the planter that um, trader joe's has it in it's just a matte simple no texture planter that's really the type of planters i like to add in my home and then you can see right over here we've got a variegated um peperomia right over here this is a variegated peperomia golden gate beautiful looking peperomia again um this peperomia is quite common but you know even a common plant like this has such beautiful variegation again this is only for 7.99 so like plant foldies let me know what you think about this particular plant i think it's a good um deal and you know with trader joe plants if i ever want to like bring a plant back into my home or start one that i want to add to my collection i'll run to trader joe's because like this is like for instance is lemon button fern is only for 7.99 and uh, 
I don't have any ferns in my collection, but this is also another fern I would consider putting in my plant collection. And I say that with caution just because um, I already know ferns are a little bit more challenging to grow. They need humidity. They need their soil to stay moist. And those are two um, critical factors that I don't necessarily have a lot of in my indoor space. So as we do plant shopping videos on um, plant foldies, just keep in mind like what your indoor space looks like. Do you have quite a bit of bright light um, for some of those bright light um, plants do you have time to water um do you have pretty good humidity do you have to get a humidifier to increase it those are things that i'd like for everybody to take a look at i know i have to reflect and think about that but as you can see here we've got some syngonium as well love this syngonium it's got more of a neon green color and then that subtle red pinkish vein in it is really nice as well i would love to add another syngonium in my collection and then over here these are the mini foliage so these are in self-watering planters so this is another type of peperomia which um, I, i'm not sure of um, the plant id kind of escapes my mind but for 4.99 it is an acute little planter the planter is self-watering and I've noticed that a lot of places, a lot of plant suppliers have been putting their plants in self-watering planters. I think that's a good move considering people like me may not always keep up with the the plant care in terms of watering but if you have a self-watering planter then you could just um fill the reservoir and you're good to go here is a calicia repens variegated form now this is similar to a trade scanthia it is very mind um like small leaves but it also can get very leggy so you just have to make sure you um trim it back and then over here is a smaller version of the peperomia golden gate high variegation this one also just needs bright indirect light you don't want to give it full sun um, this one can actually tolerate being underwatered a little bit so even if you let the soil dry it completely as long as you water it it will do just fine but as i pan away here um while Trader Joe's may not have a bunch of different varieties of plants, what I could say is lots of their plants, like even this bird's nest fern right here for $7.99. Um, actually, if I'm going to add a, a fern, I would probably just buy it at Trader Joe's because $7.99 for this a large size fern. Normally, it'd be like $14.97 or $15.98 at another store. Um, I may just go to Trader Joe's. But while they don't have as big of a selection of plants to pick from, the plants that they have are pretty cool looking plants and i will say are healthy as well and you can see over here so i don't really run to go find ornamental pepper but you can see right here they've got some ornamental pepper for 7.99 or 5.99 that's not bad at all now i don't know if these peppers can actually be eaten but these are ornamental pepper i did end up buying um two versions of purple ornamental pepper at another local plant um, nursery called New Earth Haven Garden. So if you haven't gotten a chance, please check out that video. But you can see right here, this is a pretty cool looking ornamental pepper. $5.99 um, is not a bad price at all. So what some people may not realize is that grocery stores actually carry an ample amount of plants obviously i'm going to show you a big box store um, in the middle of this video but trader joe's i um, will come out and say has probably the most cost effective plant pricing for many plants um, you can see that it is in the floral section so if you want flowers trader joe's has tons of flowers and they restock this daily they get trucks in so um, i would always suggest if you're going to buy plants at trader joe's to go early in the morning like for me i am filming this particular um, video around 8 30 in the morning i had a really busy day just going around town filming but even if this right here this is not a bad price at all 12.99 for a huge banana plant look at this right here now with banana plants they definitely need a lot of light you can grow them in full sun you can grow them in containers or even in your outdoor space but just remember that um you have to check your grow zone for me my grow zone is eight um eight b so i don't necessarily think a tropical type plant like this would grow well in my um grow zone long term but as a patio plant that would make a perfect full sun pa pa um, patio plant and look at that new leaf unfurling it's got some neon um on it that color is really nice and then you can see right here if you want some fern you know boston fern right here 11.99 now this one is in a smaller hanging basket but needless to say it's still a beautiful looking plant it's nice and full um, a lot of people will grow fern in their um, outdoor patio space I'm not really a fan of like the Boston fern, although you will see walls and walls, shelves 
of these Boston Fern at any big box store. Um, I've seen it at Walmart, I've seen it at Lowe's, I've seen it at Home Depot, now I see it at a grocery store. So quite interesting that you see that, um, you know, some plants are just a little bit more readily available than others. And then we have some more Monstera deliciosas here. I believe these larger ones with the fenestrations are for $14.99. So if you are looking for a more mature version of a Monstera deliciosa, you can go to Trader Joe's and still get this one, I believe, for $14.99. Great price. I, I mean, I think that if you go to Trader Joe's, this is a place that you would save money. Um, definitely check that out. And then as I pan away here, all of these beautiful fern um, you just can't help, or at least I can't help but admire the types of plants that they have. And then they have three different sizes of assorted succulents. So they've got the smaller so um, succulents in containers, ceramic containers for $2.99. So again, Trader Joe's has a really good deal. This one is a uh, Crassula Golem. So that's another jade plant I like. And it's only for $2.99 in a um, ceramic planter. Now we have a smaller size $5.99 um, succulent assortment. And then we have one that has larger um, succulent assortment for $8.99. And then we have a jumbo size one for $12.99. So you've got several varieties that you can pick from. I love the arrangements. I don't really have a succulent arrangement, or actually not $12.99, I'm sorry, $14.99, but you're still getting quite a, amount of, a good amount of succulents. And no, I would say Trader Joe's is known for its ficus elastica or rubber trees. They have by far the best pricing and then the best um, uh, look in terms of the the ficus that they have. These are jumbo ficus only for $12.99. That is a huge um, win in terms of just the plant pricing. You save money. Um, these, um, you know, ficus, elastica, or rubber trees would typically cost more like $20 at um, this size at any other store you would go to. And their ficus, elastica, tanniki, the tanniki right here, they're usually highly variegated. And even their burgundy um, rubber tree right here, look at how beautiful that is. It's nice and um, a large size plant. Um, I wasn't really intending on buying any um, ficus plants today, but I know I don't have these two. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug and end up buying me a ficus um, tanniki and also a ficus burgundy. I'm, I plan on repotting them in a larger container just to go really get their growth. And I've noticed that they are just single stem. I may chop the top of the um, ficus elastica once it gets to the, um, the height I want it to let it um, encourage some branching really nice plant the the fike the two ficus i have in the backyard in my backyard patio um have been somewhat neglected i have a ficus audrey but you can see over here 12.99 plant foldies what do you guys think like do you want to go ahead and buy yourself a ficus elastic as well um at the grocery store at trader joe's I always um, recommend buying ficus um, elastica at Trader Joe's. It's not something that I um, hide from all of my viewers. I always say that this is literally the best place to buy them because you'll get such beautiful plants. Look at that variegation. Now with ficus elastica, you know, or rubber trees, what I would tell you is you definitely need it to, um, to get a lot of light and you also want to make sure that you um, give it consistent watering. Now. Some people may not do this, but I actually grow my ficus elastica in full sun just to give them a really, um, you know, good amount of light. And to my surprise, even my ficus ruby is not burning. Now you just have to make sure you stay on top of the watering. Um, so you could try that. But as far as the ficus plant, I mean, um, I don't, you know, I would want to venture out and see if you guys want to leave in the comments if there are any other places that sell um, ficus elastica for this price, $12.99 for such a large um, price. Um, it, it's really good. And I also love the fact that they've got such good quality. Like um, they look super healthy. They're highly variegated, at least the Taniki ones. And it's just stunning. And then obviously they have some herbs here, but Trader Joe's is also known for their... Um, Orchids. So they've got a lot of Philanopsis orchids, but they have different types of orchids as well. Like this one, I'm not 100% sure what type of orchid this is. But again, you know, their um, orchid pricing is also not bad at all. Like these are large Philanopsis orchids for $12.99. Typically, if you go to a, um, another store, these um, 
orchids would be a lot more and you know philanopsis orchids they are just readily available anywhere you go you go to like lowe's it's there year round you can go to walmart you can go to home depot although i would say home depot has the least amount of um, philanopsis orchids or orchids in general out of the three big box stores i typically go to but then trader joe's as well they they have orchids so they must have such a good like orchid supplier now i finally got me an orchid a variegated version um, and I'm really happy about that. So I'm excited to see how I can grow it. But you can even see right here, all of these orchids had just different faces. And I just love the look of these orchids. Like it's one of those things that I just enjoy just admiring the different types of colors, the different types of patterns of these orchids. So plant foldies, let me know in the comments if you go um, the comment section, if you actually grow orchids in your your home what types of orchids do you like i really love engagement so i really encourage you guys as you guys are watching this video to even leave timestamps about specific plants that you enjoy or even ask me questions leave plant ids i am all for it i really hope that um, you plant foldies will support my video by obviously hitting the like button so if you've gotten this far into the video and haven't hit the like button please hit the like button for my video as well as leaving comments um I don't really ask for much um, in terms of support, but those are two things that I definitely hope you can help me out with. It'll push our um, YouTube videos out to more people like you that love plants and our plant Foley community will continue to grow. Like we are so close to getting to 10,000 subscribers. I've been doing um, YouTube videos for the last five months in terms of just the plant content. And that's because you guys always show out um, and come out for me on my live premiere chats and typically at 7 p.m central standard time i have been a little bit late on getting them but that's because life has just gotten super busy but you can see here trader joe's 12.99 these plants, um, you know, the care tips for ficus elastica, I've just kind of mentioned. But the next place I wanted to go to is this particular Walmart is out in um, Lake Road um, in McKinney, Texas. So this is a Walmart that has quite a bit of plants. Um, earlier this year, you know, in February and March, I was able to find several um Costa Farms trending tropical plants. It is a beautiful um, Wednesday um, today, and it was um, at noon when I actually came over and filmed this. I just figured that I, since I was already um, going around McKinney, that I would check out this particular Walmart. I haven't been here in a while. Um, it is another Walmart that has a huge outdoor um, plant section, so we'll see if they actually have um, outdoor plants. Um, again, I am one of those types of um, people that you never know what plants you'll find by just going to the these different plant um, places like these big box stores so we're gonna walk over here so the biggest critique I would have at this particular Walmart is that the way they display their out their indoor plants which are um, displayed outdoors is they just kind of have them jumbled up I kind of wish that this um, location would you know merchandise their plants a little bit um, better like I would say um, just putting the plants, the same types of plants together in a row. It wouldn't take that long, but that is my biggest critique when it comes to that. I've noticed that these um, plants right here, uh, most of these plants are um, sourced out by Altman plants. I do like the fact that Altman plants has a lot of plant vendors that will upkeep their plants. So typically their plants are healthy or they will mark them down. And I tell you what, if you go to Walmart, when um, a plant vendor is marking them down, you will get some really good um, um, savings. Like I have bought um, hanging baskets for only $5. I've been able to get coleus plants for like $2 um, and normally they would be $8.77. So I, I love going to Walmart. I would say Walmart in terms of their outdoor plants probably has the best plant pricing out of all the big box stores. And you can see here, this has been, um, a lot of their plants have been already bought up. But um, one thing I did want to show is that these plumeras are for $34.74. Um, these are Costa Farms tropical plants that they um, sourced out. And you you can see right here i was actually wondering what the plumera bloom looks like and it looks like it is this particular bloom look at that um, bloom right there now there are some people who are really into plumerias and as i've done plant shopping videos and i've gotten to know some of you guys um, i've seen that there are certain specific niches of people who love certain plants um, for me i like plants um, um you know plants all sorts of plants is what I'm trying to say. Now, we, I would say this is disappointing that they've got this blooming anthurium out in full sun. Um, it just got burned. But, you know, in terms of plants, 
I like indoor tropical plants. I love um, outdoor gardening plants, landscaping, Japanese maples, maples, bonsai, um, you name it. Um, I might even get into succulents. So like I did want to pan over here and show you this. Check this out. This is another type of succulent. I didn't even realize that this is a Crassula red pagoda. What a cool looking um, succulent and what a cool name. Um, it kind of looks like a pagoda, I guess. Um, nice sun stressing as well. Um, it's got some of those red tips. And what I mean by sun stressing is um, a plant receives a little bit more light than it's typically needing and it is not burning it, but it's also giving it some really cool like variegation. So really like that. This is one of my favorite jade plants as well. This is a Crassula oblica um, tricolor. Really like that as well. That is another jade plant that I want to add to my collection. And you can see I can pick up another one right over here. Um, a nice looking one. Look at how the, how the edges have a little bit of the pink on it as well. Uh, I am a fan of jade plants. You know, as a child, I've grown up um, being around jade plants. My grandmother has always grown jade plants. And, you know, I mention my grandmother often in a lot of my um, plant shopping videos. And that's because she was really the one that got me into plants. And so I asked this question, Plant Foldies, how did you get into plants? Um, um, what plants did you grow as a kid? Or what plants did you start off with? And then just as... Um, I'm actually, this was actually something that I wanted to ask as well. I was really curious and please leave this in the comments. Plant Foldies, how did you discover my Grow, Grow Folds YouTube channel? I've just noticed that a lot of my Plant Foldies that are regulars, more and more people are showing up in the live premiere chat. So if you're actually watching this video live, please say hello. We have a community that is super friendly, super welcoming. I've noticed that whenever there's a new face that shows up in the live premieres, everybody will take the time to welcome them. But I am curious, Plant Foldies, how did you find my YouTube channel? Was it through YouTube recommendations? Did my video, plant shopping videos pop up on your feed? Did it become a suggested video after watching another plant shopping video from another YouTuber? Did you find it on social media? Just really curious to see where you um, found our community. Please, please, please leave that in the comments. I really want to know. And then as you can see here, um, what do you guys think about all of these um, succulents? I know some people aren't into succulents, but I am trying to diversify the types of um, plants I show. This one right here, for instance, is a Crassula. Um, E.T.'s um, fingers, I believe that's um, a really cool looking one. It almost reminds me of like coral when I, whenever I look at it closely. And then you can see right here, this is a Crassula um, Multicana bleeding heart what an interesting name and then what an interesting foliage so you can see that they've got some of that um, red foliage underneath its um, leaves and then you can see over here lots of different types of succulents um, i do like that a lot of succulents have a more pastel um, color to it i do like pastel looking plants this one has more of a ghostly gray look about it with a hint of blue so look at that sky blue look on the succulents um, for me if i am going to get succulents i definitely want to get eoni um, I talk about eoniums a lot in a lot of my plant shopping videos, and I also want to collect um, Crassula um, because these jade plants are super easy to grow as well. I'm more familiar with it, and I believe that's the reason why there are certain plants that I gravitate to. You know, there's always that memory recall, whether it's something that was from my childhood or um, a friend um, introduced me to it, or just really something like a plant that gives me some type of leaf interest. But you can see over here, I am gravitated to these Echeverias, and it's specifically because of the coloration, but also the structure of the succulent like that has a beautiful floral look about it it looks like a rose and this is another crassula this is a crassula lime and um, lemon and lime um, so the variegation and this one's for four dollars and 97 cents and the variegation is really nice it's got more of an aurea yellow variegated um, look to it um, i'm a fan of it and then what else do we have here we've got this and i always gravitate to this particular kalanchoe this is a kalanchoe um, teddy bear i also like the kalanchoe um, chocolate soldier really like that dark brown tone but it's got a fuzzy texture about it and then obviously another beautiful echeveria right over here i believe this is the pink 
um, diamond. Let's take a look. Yep, this is a pink diamond for $4.97. So I am a little bit more proud of myself, plant folies. I can't believe that I'm starting to find, you know, um, succulents and starting to really recognize some of the plant IDs. They don't come out of my mouth as easily as possible in terms of just how um, I mentioned the plant names. I like this one right here. I don't know um, what it um, is. It's another type of succulent. Um, so I have to just not be as um, lazy in terms of like actually learning succulent names and cactus names it's one of those things where i have to really will myself to learn but as you can see plant foldies beautiful looking succulents and cactus it is a little bit hot and i don't really want to be exposed in full sun so i'm not trying to stay out in that outdoor section so i'm kind of trying to stay more on the shaded um, cloth area but you can see here holly fern and i've noticed a lot of the holly ferns have more of a yellow tint about it i don't know if it's just because the fern has been more sun stressed and been put out in the full sun um i you know was also thinking that you know holly fern would be another fern that i may want to add to my plant collection if i am going to add a fern and then for 877 or 677 beautiful coral bells and what i love about coral bells i've mentioned this also in a lot of my videos is i just like dark foliage plants you know plant foliage let me know what you think about dark foliage plants as well which ones do you like specifically i have a whole array of them i actually do a lot of instagram reels um which i actually upload as youtube shorts so if you haven't gotten a chance and it hasn't like been suggested on your feed check out my um, youtube channel just click on my actual profile and go under shorts you'll see a bunch of shorts videos or if you are following me on instagram check out my reels i've done a lot of like dark foliage plants purple plants i've been having a lot of fun just editing them so i'd like to know your thoughts um what you think of it so if you want some more shorter content um you can definitely check that out but the youtube channel is really known for long content um um, footage so you can see that i will do at least an hour long plant shopping video you'll hear me talk about plants and um we have more time to chat in the live premiere chats but you can see here seven uh 1788 this uh, container full of caladiums now with caladiums i love caladiums in a sense that they have beautiful coloration on their foliage the only drawback about um, caladiums is that caladiums um really cannot tolerate full sun or a lot of sun so you have to really find a, a place that gives them bright indirect light morning light and you're good to go which makes it not as versatile of a landscaping plant now it does open room for you to potentially grow caladiums indoors um, i've heard some people growing caladiums indoors i want to grow some caladiums indoors i bought a couple actually from a, lo a local plant nursery called calloway's nursery which i also do several videos of so if you haven't already check that out it is a beautiful um, local plant nursery chain in the dallas fort worth area which is where i'm based at but you can see over here we've got some i believe these are portalacas portalacas are super cool as well it is more of a succulent type um, flowering ground cover a lot of people will typically grow them in containers they obviously need full sun for them to really bloom and there's just many varieties of um, colors i like that as well as i love not like i love lantana so um there is a trend with certain plants that i will always feature in my plant shopping videos and it's really plants that i love and um lantana is one of them very easy to care for plant um, that can be grown in full sun and like very drought tolerant now i've noticed that um Costa Farms has really been releasing a lot of hanging baskets. I think Costa Farms releases a batch of certain ones. So this is the season where you will find Epipremnum aria marble queen pothos. Although this one looks like a snow queen pothos. Um, I, I wish Costa Farms, the only thing I would say about Costa Farms, they have amazing plans, love their plants. I just wish that they would just be more specific about some of their plant IDs. But as you can see there, that is for 1984. Now I went to Anna, Texas Walmart. If you haven't seen that um shopping video as well check that out but i saw a bunch of hanging baskets of um, marble queen pothos um but you can see here this one also is another hanging basket i've seen a lot of and that is the tritscanthia burgundy look at how beautiful this plant is and what i like about this particular plant is just a dark foliage again you know that beautiful purple tone around it the only drawback about this particular tritscanthia is it gets very leggy quickly and the the, the leaves the the trailing break off very easily as well now here is another beautiful epipremnum arium 
I'm gonna call this Marble Queen, but it really does look like a Snow Queen Pothos. So plant foldies, let me know what you think. Is this a Snow Queen Pothos or a Marble Queen? It's really tough to find, um, you know, find the actual plant ID because they look very similar. Now I would say Snow Queen, um, and the lighting doesn't give this justice. It's actually a lot wider than it is um, yellow in the actual video. Or if you see this in live, um, in, in real life, um, it's a very beautiful plant. I would even venture to say that that is a snow queen pothos just based on the high variegation and then this is another plant that um i have seen often at least in the last three big box stores at walmart these large leaf um, phytonias this one is typically called um, phytonia stripes forever um phytonia just haven't done well for me i had a large pink leaf one that just needed a lot of water in a hanging basket but that ended up dying on me so i think you know for as far as phytonias i'm not going to really add them to my collection now i will say there is a plethora of just hanging baskets of these teddy bear vines they look like trade scantias i would assume that they're just the fuzzy version of a trade scantia but somebody corrected me and say that they're, they're not actually trade scantia needless to say they look very similar and i would say the care tips are similar you know this one would need more more bright indirect light um, otherwise I feel like with these plants if you don't give them bright indirect light they just end up getting leggy and I think that's just um, common for a lot of plants because they'll just get leggy because it would just end up shooting um, more runners in order to find a source that would just give them light but as you can see right over here I don't want to say a lot of negative things about this Walmart because again as I mentioned in all of my past videos whenever you go big box store uh, plant shopping um, you want to make sure that you manage your expectations we can't be super picky about how the plants are um, presented or even the health of the plants because again it is not a plant um, plant shop with you know people that are really knowledgeable about plants like some of the um, staff may be knowledgeable, knowledgeable in certain um, big box stores but that's not necessarily the priority of um, a big box store big box stores are here to sell and you know they have several other products so you know for this walmart i'm just thankful that they always have a full line of plants um, i typically will buy my um, outdoor plants at this particular walmart but you know sometimes you'll find some cool plants like this like i love this um philodendron painted lady again look at that it's got a beautiful variegation and while i love dark foliage plants I also love yellow neon green type plants as well. Um, I really need to do a haul on all of my neon yellow green plants as well as my dark foliage plants. And then you can see right over here, beautiful plant, um, Epipremnum arium, um, Marble Queen Pothos, although I'm gonna call that a Snow Queen. What do you guys think? I know I, I'm kind of debating back and forth, but you can see that hanging basket has more green. Um, let me know what you think, and let me know if you would buy the Marble Queen Pothos that is coming out, at least in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, but you can see here, also for 1984, another full hanging basket, Exotic Angels Training Tropicals plant. That is a trade scanthia. And just notice how a lot of these plants are kind of just mixed up. I just really think that if they took the time to take all the plants out merchandise it like maybe one day i might just be that crazy person that will volunteer and just merchandise the plants you know free cost they don't have to pay um, a, a team member or an employee to do like payroll um, to do it because this would just be an easy fix it would take a little bit of time but i just feel like people would flock over here because they have so many plants like i mean notice how i've just walked rows and rows of plants and they actually have some more indoor plants indoors as well here is a beautiful philodendron um, heteraceum, although people will call this a cordatum as well, just a green form, easy to care for plant. And then we've seen like the um, this one right here. I actually bought my um, chameleon ZZ here. I've noticed that this is one of the last ones here that's been there for more than a month and a half. I'm glad that it's still doing okay. And then we also have an aglonema red siam. Love aglonemas. Aglonema red siam is pretty much the common aglonema you'll find in addition to the aglonema silver. Silver Bay. If you are looking for a plant that is easy to care for and I um, want to just try to condition everybody for it, buy yourself an Aglonema. Definitely get yourself an Aglonema. They can tolerate lower light conditions and can tolerate being not watered as often. So that's the type of plant for me. As well as this Philodendron um, Cordatum. 
or hederaceum, however you want to call it. Love that heart-shaped leaf on it. Beautiful plant. And then right next to it is a begonia rex or rex begonia, which is called the red kiss. Love that that um, hanging basket actually has a plant ID. Most rex begonias ha are, have been hybridized, so not a lot of them have those plant IDs. But as you can see right over here, another plant fine. And these are um, really cool. This is a philodendron golden crocodile. And notice the leaves have been extremely um, bleached. So that is a result of just the plant getting a lot more light than it needed to. You know, this has um, been outside, outdoors, so it may just receive a lot more light than it needs it. Um, I don't mind um, bleached out plants to a certain extent, especially for a yellow plant like this. I think that's super cool. My philodendron golden crocodile is doing extremely well, and I haven't really been taking care of it. It's um, actually done well in neglect. I wouldn't, um, um, you know... Actually, I would not hesitate to buy this philodendron painted lady just because it's nice and full. It is a little bit more bleached, which I like as well. You know, it's a little bit, it looks like it's gotten a little bit more light. But, you know, the thing about philodendron painted lady is it's a beautiful um, philodendron. It needs to be um, um, growing up a pole. But the problem is with philodendron painted lady is if you don't give it enough light, it will revert back to more of a green tone. So it doesn't have nearly as much... Um, stable variegation so that's the only drawback about it but it is a beautiful plant if you're able to give it that bright light you'll get some nice um coloration from it and then notice how we just have more hanging baskets of these beautiful epipremnum aria marble queen pothos also um, snow queen pothos whichever one you want to call it i just love that it's highly variegated and then with that particular pothos plant though you have to make sure that you give it a lot of light bright light otherwise it will revert back the variegation won't be as like um, white and creamy and then over here, we've got a Monstera Stadliana, or um, Casa Farms calls it a Cobra. That one is for 1984 in a self-watering planter. Beautiful plant. This, is, again, is another plant that you need to go grow up a totem pole or some type of um, pole for it to really get the best... Um, best value for its leaves it'll actually get larger leaves and then that's a really cool philodendron um, silver sword by growers bench that one is for 2448 and then you can see here i happen to find this lone coleus plant i talked about you know plant finds look at that two dollars and fifty cents eight um it's normally eight dollars and seventy eight cents this is one that has like five or six um you know stems that are just um, um that you know trunks that i could potentially make into a braided coleus plant so um stay tuned for that i saw a bunch of european coleus um instagram accounts that had some really cool looking coleus um trees so check that out and then i did want to just walk over here real quickly and show you guys all of the large foliage plants at this walmart so they have them on um, pallets and you can see there's an assortment of ficus lyrata or fiddle fig leaf trees majesty palms and diphen bakia and then over here and i actually am thinking about getting a pachira aquatica from walmart maybe not this walmart um but you can see they've got large um foliage plants as well these um fiddle fig leaf are nice uh, size ones i love the fiddle fig leaf i used to steer away from them because a couple years back people would really say that they are finicky plants i have learned that if you can just provide it with consistent bright light and just consistent care and what i mean by that and I say this in all my videos if you're gonna grow a um, fiddle fig leaf make sure that if you're gonna water it water it you know once a week but stay on on top of the scheduling if you're able to um give it some more humidity that works well but also keeping it in one area so once you find a spot in your home that gets a lot of light leave it there don't move it because if you move it it will drop its leaves that's what makes um fiddle fig leaf a little bit more um finicky a little bit more challenging but as i walk by all of this i love that you know walmart has really cool looking plants i, I always say that like these ficus and not ficus these um Cro croton petras good price they've got a lot of um cordelon hawaiian tea plants as well in mixed containers um for a really good value and um you know that's the reason why i would never say don't buy um plants at big box stores it's really interesting that i've gotten to know some of our plant foldies and they're really against buying big box store plants 
I say buy plants that will bring you joy. Um, use caution when you buy plants in general, just because all plants, whenever you buy them, you just want to check for any pests. So one things that you would want to do is like look under the undersides, check the soil, check the leaf. If it's um, browning and burning, it could be one thing overwatering or um, too much sun. But as I pan over here, I did want to show you all of these highly variegated light colored plants. I would even say they are yellow plants at this point. We've got that philodendron painted lady, the philodendron golden crocodile, and that Epipremnum aria marble queen pothos look at how it's been bleached out though by the amount of light it's been given um i sh it, it almost looks like a haul of um, plants that i have bought but I, um sadly i did not buy these plants as tempted as i was because i have spent so much money at plants so again plant foldies if you want to support me the least thing you can do, please just hit that like button and also leave comments. Um, that is one way to help fund my uh, my plant obsession and to really continue to get me to make these plant content, plant shopping videos. But what do you guys think of all of these um, beautiful yellow plants? Also, I did want to walk over into the indoor section as well. You can see that just the, the plant styling and the plant merchandising is just really not the best um, for this particular Walmart. And, you know, it is... Um, a very busy Walmart, so I'll give them that. So maybe this is just not top priority, but you've seen that there's a lot of um, Philanopsis orchids. We've got this plant right here and so this is what I'm talking about. So this um, philodendron right over there, I um, which the plant ID escapes my name, but I really want to get this. I'm hoping that I can walk in one day at this particular Walmart or the Walmart off of um, highway 380 in mckinney texas that's another one i visit where this will be on sale for like seven dollars i've noticed that some of the growers bench um vendors will um, mark these down substantially i was able to find a bunch of like um really inexpensive cheap philodendron pink princess for five dollars ring of fires philodendron ring of fires for seven dollars when they go on sale so that particular philodendron i do want to add to my collection and then you can see right over here we've got an epipremnum alplicimum um, silver streak pothos beautiful looking pothos as well and then you can see right over here we've got some calatheas this one is a calathea medallion beautiful looking calathea i am a fan really like the look of this particular calathea and it's another one that i would definitely add to my collection if i was on a no calathea um, if i wasn't on one of those no calathea buys just because Calatheas are just really um, challenging plant. I wouldn't mind buying another uh, Monstera Stadliana. It's a beautiful uh, Monstera. It's an easy Monstera to take care of. Now, mine is a little bit more um, highly variegated. What I had to do, though, is it was pushing out like pure white leaves for like th the first, th you know, the last three um, leaves that were unfurling. So I had to cut it back and now it's good, given me a half moon. So that's the thing about, you know, variegated plants. If you have one that's just highly variegated and it's just pushing out white leaves or on the other side, if it's pushing out green leaves, chop it back to the last node so you can promote that variegation, hopefully. But you can see here, Aglonema, love this Aglonema because of the white stem, white stem Aglonema. It's just life for me. Um, I always get excited about seeing aglonemas. And the, this has like a metallic silver shine about it. That one is only for $14.97. So if you are going to um, add a plant to your plant collection, plant folies, definitely add yourself an aglonema. Um, add yourself a coleus plant. Those are my main plants that I like. And you might think I'm super basic, but that's really it. And as you can see here, we found some of uh, Trade Scanthia Nanooks. Now this one was is for $19. I think that's super pricey considering you can go to Lowe's and buy them for $4.98. I actually added another one. Last night I spent time repotting a bunch of plants and that was one of them. And then over here, um, I can't really pronounce this name, but that is another plant I wouldn't mind adding adding into my plant collection. Um, I will tell you, a lot of the Costa Farms plants, the trending tropical plants, I would love to collect them, like seriously would love to collect them. It's just a matter of getting my space together. I am excited and um, ready to just show you my plant collection soon. And then lastly, we are going to HEB. So a little story about HEB. I was really on my way home because I wanted to buy perlite at HEB. So I didn't even intend to 
to um, do plant shopping. But since I was already there, I was going to go ahead and just show you this. Like HEB is another grocery store that has some amazing pricing. Like this is another Coleus hanging basket. And this hanging basket, I believe is for like $8.97. Um, it's definitely not more than $10. And then you can even see they've got some wax begonia here. Look at how red that wax begonia is. And um, these are all hanging baskets for under $10. They've got a plethora of different types of plants here. I do find this interesting interesting that they have another type of cordyline plant. This almost looks like a Dracaena marginata, but this is a cordyline plant. I've seen this actually at Home Depot and notice how you can grow that in full sun. Beautiful um, bronze burgundy color for that. And then we've got more coleus plants. So I actually bought these when they were a little bit more healthy. So mine are super cool. These ones are $4.99 and these are the under the sea um, series right here. Um, notice that it's got more of like a serrated narrow leaf about it. Um, I do like that texture and I did, I, I need to try to get this one, but I don't know if they'll actually um, mark this one down. This is another Main Street coleus plant. This one is called Abbey Road. So there are a Main Street series where basically it's a bunch of coleus plants that are, um, you know, named after a street, or I would assume that, but beautiful coleus plant, dark foliage. And then this one right here is my favorite one. This one is really uncommon. This one is the Under the Sea, um, one right here series as well but you can see that their leaves are not going to get that large so it's a very dwarf sized coleus plant um, i would say i have about 40 different varieties of coleus growing in my um, plant collection and i am not upset by any means i will collect coleus plants but it is such a beautiful afternoon in north dallas and that's the reason why like um i have to film plants i have to show you guys all of these plants like this one looks like one of the other plants i got but this is a lizard leaf plant look at that red lizard leaf plant celosa so it's actually a celosa but it has that red foliage that dark um, red foliage that i absolutely love and then just notice the nuances of the veins as well and you can see right there more plants just more plants and what i love about heb and this is a um, grocery store that can only be found in texas because it only um um, has mostly Texas um, grown items and Texas source products, which I love. And then right over here, eight ninety seven plant foldies. What do you think about these large Kong plants right here? Kong coleus plants. So um, Kong coleus, if you don't know what they are, they are the large um, form coleus plants. They can get really large. They can get up to three to four feet in height and width in the landscape. But you can see how beautiful they are for eight dollars and ninety seven cents. That is really inexpensive for a coleus plant so if you happen to have an heb grocery store in your location highly recommend getting um you know plants from heb they always have some really good plant pricing for their indoor plants and outdoor landscaping plants um i have bought several plants and then you know for that price 8.97 i may end up just like buying one but today i'm not going to be enticed by these coleus plants i really am in the mindset of just buying some um perlite and I need the perlite because that's part of my soil mixture. So if you're going to ask me what my soil mixture is, I buy the lawn and tree um, soil from Lowe's. That's a specific brand. It's a huge one that I would get. I use it as my base um, soil. And then I um, add um, orchid bark by Better Grow, um, Better Grow, which is another orchid bark that I buy at Lowe's. And then I will buy this specific perlite at um, HEB because HEB has some really inexpensive plant um, accessories soils they have fox farm soils which i may try to get it's only for eight dollars i also buy my fertilizers from heb they have the fox farm liquid fertilizers that are really good but you can see i have gone into the texas garden section so you can see here they still have those two large alocasia stingrays um what a beautiful showcase plant at that point this is a showcase plant i would love to be able to have the space to grow a large alocasia stingray but again and alocasias as beautiful and as enticing and as tempting as they are they are not a plant that you can just put in your home without the right care conditions and right environments i i say that from experience plant foldies um, and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree that you know um 
alocasias are just more of a challenging plant. It's definitely not a beginner plant. You know, if you're going to think from beginner plants, I would always recommend Epipremnum arium, pothos plants, aglonemas um, for outdoor plants. I would say coleus. I'm a little bit more par um, partial to that. But you can see here, even um, ficus elastica or rubber tree plants are um, pretty easy plants as long as you can get them some the right lighting conditions. Now, these ones for the burgundy ones, I believe, are for like $19 or maybe even more than that. More than that. I think it's $29.95. So it's a little bit more pricey. And then be this beautiful philodendron hope beautiful um leaf shape it looks like a tamathophyllum i don't know if a tamathophyllum and a philodendron hope is the same plant so plant folies let me know what you think but they're always um um label one way or the other and then those are algerian ivy so you're not really gonna hear me say hedra yeah that's not a, um, a hedera helix but anyways this is a um Peperomia, I believe this is a, a Peperomia Owl Eye or Peperomia Teardrop. Love this one as well. Now, this is actually sourced out by Mason Farms, which typically sources um, plants to Kroger specifically. This one, I believe, is for $19.97. Pretty large um, variety of that as well. I really like that um, just because it has that waxy, shiny leaf um, texture to it. It's got a thick leaf. And then all of these um, assorted cacti are only for $1.50. So these are all cost of farms plants. And when I say the cost of farms is literally the the plant supplier all over the world they are basically supplying different types of plants you know they've they've really gotten into orchids i didn't even realize that they had a whole orchid situation where they were just sourcing out orchids but even succulents and cacti so not only tropical plants they just have it all and then over here, these are premium foliage plants. So this one is a ficus lyrata or fiddle fig leaf. Love that as well. So if you want to get a starter one, they're not bad at all. I actually um, got one that was, um, you know, a pretty small one that has gotten pretty, um, you know, has gotten some more size to it. So I really like that. And then this is a bonnie spider plant that I might consider getting because these are all on sale for $4.50. This is a Calathea setosa. I believe, I'm not sure if that's the actual plant ID. And then as you guys notice, plant folies, today's video doesn't have plant IDs just because I was a little bit pressed for time. I did want to make sure I got this um, video out because you will not believe the plants I found at this location. And again, I was just not even intending to go buy plants, um, but I figured if I was gonna go get perlite, I might as well film the plants. I'm just trying to get you guys some more content, but you will not believe it. So you've gotta really stick till the very end and let me know what you think. But you can see here, they even have Hoya. So like this Hoya right here is pretty cool. Love the look of this Hoya, just even just a green variety. And again, I'm starting to really get into Hoyas. It's just a matter of like the lighting conditions that I would provide for my Hoya and then you can see here Croton Petra and then for $8.97 you know I talk about um H-E-B having some really good plant pricing those are for pothos hanging baskets and they're a lot larger than the typical pothos plant um hanging baskets so if you're looking for something that's a little bit inexpensive in terms of just um, a pothos hanging basket you've got to go to H-E-B like this is a golden pothos and there's just tons and tons of pothos and then they even have mixed pothos hanging baskets where they've got pearls and jade and joy and all of that but guys take a look at this so I walked in just because I was going to go pay for my perlite can you believe and i'm just gonna get excited 55.98 for philodendron florida beauty look at that variegation so i honestly was acting up and i was really just surprised excited i know that some of you guys may not be into that rare airwide um, plants but these philodendron florida beauties can you believe that at heb in mckinney texas off of custer road they have a bunch of philodendron florida beauties and yes it's still 55 dollars 98 that might be pricey and they also have a variegated philodendron domesticum for 55 dollars 98 like i'm not gonna lie i went ahead and bought me these plants like I was not expending, you know, in, intending to spend that kind of money. But you, when you think of this size of a philodendron domesticanum variegated, that typically would be more than $200 and it's $55 and 98 cents. And check this out. I heard rumors that HEB has sold philodendron strawberry shake 
and check this out this is a philodendron strawberry shake for $55.98 so now um, some of you guys might not be into the rare aeroids and again I tell you I am all about plants but this is another niche that I like is these rare philodendrons um, yes they are a little bit pricey for you know the average person but in terms of what you're paying for um, these uh, plants are uncommon rare I wouldn't even say they're rare anymore because they're at a grocery store in, um, you know, McKinney, Texas, but Philodendron Florida Beauty. I am so excited. I actually had to um, get in touch with Steven, another plant foldy of mine, and he ended up coming up here and buying himself a Philodendron as well. But you can see here, beautiful Philodendron Florida Beauty. I definitely had to buy a Philodendron Florida Beauty. And then I debated about whether I should get the Strawberry Shake or the Variegated Domesticana. I went ahead and got the Variegated Domesticana. So plant foldy, um, what do you guys think the cat is out of the bag so if you are in a local plant foldy or somebody that lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area and you want a philodendron Florida beauty you've got to go to um, HEB I feel like Kroger is probably going to get some cool um, rare plant as well but the domesticanums the variegated domesticanums hands down I was super excited I bought that one specifically and then I also bought the um, philodendron Florida beauty that I picked up it had really large large leaves I am intending to repot these in a slightly larger pot with a moss pole for sure and yeah and that kind of just reinvigorated the fact that no matter what whenever you are big box or plant shopping never think that you won't find a really cool plant like i have just been walking around today and you know while i show you guys the same big box stores daily that's the reason why i always encourage you to check out my videos while i talk about the same plants and maybe have the same commentary and maybe even show you the same locations um there is always that beautiful surprise and to me that was just amazing it definitely made my day it definitely inspired me and look at this this is a beautiful strawberry shake i believe steven ended up buying that one but i ended up buying this one right here this florida beauty and then this variegated domesticanum so plant foldies let me know what you think in the comment section as always please make sure you are hitting the like button and i'll see you on the next one bye good day my plant foldies this is richie at growfold and today we will be local nursery plant shopping at Plants and Planters in Richardson, Texas. As always, please make sure you're hitting the like button and following me on Instagram at Growfolds. Today is the day after a really bad um, storm that hit the Dallas area where several areas have been hit and all of these trees have fallen. I wanted to check on a couple of the nursery stores that I typically visit in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So today I am at Plants and Planters and Thankfully, all of the staff and all of their plants did not get any damage. There were places in this area that have lost power. They did lose power for a little bit, but I'm glad that the day after all of my friends out at Plants and Planters are doing okay and their plants look like they weren't even damaged. So either that or the staff cleaned up their area very quickly. Um, so I just wanted to take you guys along to show you guys some beautiful plants this early mor Wednesday morning. You can see here we've got some coleus perilla here. I have this particular coleus plant and plant foldies. For those that are new to this channel, I call my viewers and subscribers plant foldies. Welcome. You already know I love my coleus plants. They bring me a lot of joy. So I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple of plants um, at Plants and Planters. They, ha they have an outdoor section, but typically I like to look at their indoor greenhouse. They have one of the best greenhouses in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So we're gonna take a look at that, but you can see right over here, they've got coleus plants on sale for $5.99. Um, the crazy thing is, all the coleus plants that we are typically looking at right now, I have already. So you can see that I actually have an coleus obsession. I talk about that in all of my plant shopping videos. But anyways, I did want to just show you some of these plants. And you can see right over here, this is the Persian Purple Shield plant. This one is only for $5.99. I have one that I'm growing in some shade beautiful purple color here some people will say that this particular plant though does break people's hearts because it is a harder plant to grow mine is doing okay but i did notice that if you give it some direct light um sunlight it does not do well it will burn up and crisp up so 
you just got to make sure that you put it in a shaded area and then we've got a bunch of oxalis right over here love the purple um oxalis here and this is a plant that you can grow indoors and outdoors as a perennial that is something that's really awesome and for those that don't know what the term perennial means it means that you can grow a plant um outdoors in a landscape and depending on your grow zone like for instance my grow zone is 8b since i am um, based out in north dallas this this plant can actually become a perennial where it'll grow through a um, growth cycle where it'll grow during the spring summer fall and then die off in the winter but then next year in the spring or summer they will come back up and grow again so i really like that you know a lot of people will call plants that are perennials permanent plants because you basically can't get rid of them they just come back year after year and that is the thing about um in Exalis. love that but you can see here what a beautiful wednesday morning out at plants and planters i always like to go to this particular nursery just because they've got a friendly staff one of my really good friends shelly um, helps run this business this is one of the oldest plant nurseries out in the dallas Fort Worth area. It is one that um, I highly recommend. I've been shopping here for about five years and they have some amazing plants and prices. You can see right here, we've got some beautiful caladiums. I believe these are for $2.99. I would actually buy this particular caladium. It's got a good size on it. And look at how beautiful the foliage is. I do like caladiums just because of the colors of their leaves. Like this one right over here has some really nice red veining and like that pink, very subtle pink color around it is just gorgeous as well now caladiums are basically what i would consider a more colorful version of an alocasia they have similar care tips and the thing about caladiums is if you are going to grow them indoors you need to provide them with a lot of bright indirect light i would say put them right next to a window and um, know that these caladiums if, um, when grown indoors especially will definitely go um, dormant in the winter so just be prepared for that what you can do is once they grow dormant in the winter you can just save their bulbs and then just replant them and they will come back um year after year but i've grown caladiums in the past they are an easy to care for plant now the only thing about caladiums plant foldies is that you have to provide them shade they do not do well in full sun and then they've got some ground cover here and i've always shown you guys this so if you have been following my daily plant shopping videos i do a live premiere daily um you can see that i love these ajuga plants so this is just the darker version of a juga plant um, the thing about a juga plants is it is a ground cover it is also another plant that's pretty much um, related to like a waffle plant i love the colors for some reason i'm really in love with this variegated ajuga it looks like a vegetable it looks like some type of herb but if you look at the the subtleties and just the coloration of the um, plant really beautiful purple lavender pink cream variegation and it is an inexpensive plant i have two growing in my um my plant collection right now i have them in containers planters and i'm hoping that i'll be able to grow these plants indoors once it gets a little bit cold but it is a fast growing plant as well it is a plant that needs to stay pretty moist so i water it um once a day but you know as the summer starts to come around in texas weather um gets up to like 100 degrees i know that i'm gonna have to water this a little bit more frequently but these are some beautiful variegated ajuga um i just really like the color so for those that are watching this video let me know what you think of this plant would you actually grow it in your house plant collection or even in your outdoor space i'd really like to know so just make sure you are leaving comments in the comment section i really encourage that and then right over here this one is on sale these are the ajuga chocolate chip so you can see that it has a little bit more of a narrow leaf different texture it's definitely more compact than the other ajuga and you can see that it's got darker foliage um what i also like about ajuga is i'm able to grow them in full sun or you can put them in shade so they've got a wide range of lighting conditions that they can live in and that makes it easier for certain plants because if they are more confined to like a specific um lighting condition like some um, um, like caladiums for instance caladiums can really only grow in the shade you wouldn't be able to grow that in a full um, sun area
area and that's the reason why i like the ajuga but you can see here beautiful fountain and they just have a really good way of merchandising their plants this almost looks like a park right over here um a beautiful little garden and you can see here this is a plant that i wish could be grown indoors these are the tractor seat plants i like the look of the plants they also are known as li lily pad plants really nice looking plant and then we also have a bunch of coral bells and you know who doesn't like coral bells at least i love coral bells for the sense that you know for the fact that they have like beautiful um dark foliage leaves love dark foliage plants um, that is something that i often talk about in my big box store plant shopping videos and for those that have just made it to my channel um please consider subscribing to my youtube channel at Growfolds with the notification bell on i do one hour plant shopping videos daily i have a couple of marathons that are going to be uploaded and premiered later um, in the later part of june um, they are three hour long compilations of my plant shopping videos. So definitely check that out. And then plant foldies right over here. I actually have this um, vining, this um, highly variegated vinca vine um, plant. I'm actually growing it in a container and it's I'm doing very well. But as you can see right over here, it doesn't even look like this plant nursery got hit by um, some really strong storms. Um, you know, I'm really happy that they were fortunate not to get a lot of damage or anything to their plants. Now, there are a couple of um, places that had their roofs pop off. I know that there's a Callaway's nursery that I actually go to as well. That's about five minutes away here that the roof just blew off. So it's really unfortunate. But, you know, Mother Nature has a way of really destroying places. So you just always have to be prepared. But I am so happy that Plants and Planters was spared and is safe and all of these these plants are looking great and I can come over here and show you guys all of the different plants um, I like to showcase local plant nurseries although most of my content on this YouTube channel is big box or plant shopping I would hope that if you found this channel even though this plant shop or plant nursery may not be as accessible if you don't live in the Dallas Fort Worth area I hope that you'll still continue to watch this video because they have some amazing plants like this one right here this variegated boat lily I love variegated boat lily because it's such an easy to care for a plant um, it is a plant that has um, a wide range of lighting conditions it can grow i am currently growing the um, variegated boat lily that i bought at lowe's in full sun but nice pricing as well for some of their plants that they have here we'll eventually go into the um indoor greenhouse that's really where i wanted to feature a lot of the um the plants just because they did get a restock but i did want to show you the outdoor plants like over here we've got a creeping jenny it's another plant that i'm thinking about growing in a container and letting it trail look at how beautiful that yellow um you know the yellow coloration is on this creeping jenny absolutely stunning plant it's another plant that would be easy to take care of indoors and you can see they've just got a lot of different types of shrubs um different types of flowering plants and you know if you want an outdoor space to become a beautiful garden i would recommend going to plants and planters they have really unfair pricing like you can see that they have lots of different um, plants that can grow very well in hot conditions like this potato vine right over here these are for $2.99 and the thing about potato vines is you can get a couple of starters like this plant it in the ground and you'll have it just take off so I like that as well. I like inexpensive plants so I always look for plants that have a really good value um, for them. And as you can see they've got some banana plants right over here for $39.99 beautiful plants and we've got another acer palmatum this one is a lace leaf japanese maple called a crimson queen beautiful plant and you know japanese maples they can be grown in containers as well um, they do need to be in more of a shaded area or a place that just gets bright morning light but protection from the afternoon sun and then we now are going to walk over here for a bunch of these coleus starter plants these are only for a dollar 99 beautiful coleus starter plants you know i have bought all of these as well i've got every single variety of these ones one of them is blooming and what you want to do is make sure you cut off the bloom just because that actually stunts the growth of the actual coleus plant and um but you know as far as plants and planters notice how they have a lot of different types of plants you can pick from actually it all a lot of their outdoor plants have already been bought through but they do get frequent restocks and that's the thing i love about plants and planters um if you are not following them on instagram follow them on instagram at plants and planters 
um, they actually post pictures of their plants on their Instagram stories so you'll always know what new plants that they have available now we are going to be walking to, into the main event, which is the um, greenhouse. Welcome to paradise. And I tell you, um, Plant Foldies, this is my fourth time actually filming this actual greenhouse. And every single time they have some new plants. It's just a beautiful paradise indeed. And, you know, in a, um, I've never really filmed it early in the morning. So the, the lighting is a little bit different um, this morning in terms of just how it is registering in the film so we are gonna see what all of that entails but notice how they have just a bunch of cool looking hanging baskets um, plants and planters has just a variety of hanging basket plants so if you are looking for an awesome hanging basket i would definitely go to this greenhouse and you can see this beautiful fountain right over here um, if you were to just sit here and listen to the water there is just a zen feeling about being in this greenhouse and i'm the only one right now inside the greenhouse so I'm super excited that I'm going to be able to freely film, but also just enjoy the ambience of all of these gorgeous plants. Like I would really love to have my own little greenhouse with all of these plants. It's like sanctuary of um, tropical plants someday. I mean, look at this. This is just amazing. And you can see here, they've just got an amazing amount of plants here. So like on the very right, we've got a Dracaena cane. Um, we've got some Sansevierias at the very bottom and as I pan away over here you can just see all of the rows and rows of hanging baskets of plants. We've got this massive sago palm right here. Look at how beautiful the leaves are. Very elegant looking and then we have another centerpiece of a white bird of paradise and I love how Plants and Planters utilizes their larger um, plants to become a, a nice little display, a, a focal point. It does look like an urban jungle right here, a paradise only hidden in the Richardson, Texas area, and that is Plants and Planters. Um, and when you walk over here, we have this beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. And while most people would say this is a common just green form, look at how beautiful the leaves are. They are perfection. And you can see that there is another leaf that is about to unfurl. Now this is a massive Monstera Deliciosa. I believe that one is for $159.99. And then we've got um, a whole table of easy to care for plants. So a combination of philodendron, skindapsis, and pothos plants. You can see right over here, we've got an Aglonema Mary Ann. This one is only for $39.99, and that is a pretty massive Aglonema right here. I will say if you're looking for large form Aglonema, Plants and Planters is where you want to go. Um, they have definitely a massive amount of Aglonemas, and we've just got a lot of different varieties of Aglonemas and different types of large plants. You can see they've got some hanging baskets. They've got a... Um, Enjoy Pothos or Epipremnum Arium Enjoy. We've got a Skindapsis Silver Ann. We've got a hanging basket of Philodendron Brantianum. Another beautiful Epipremnum Arium Enjoy Pothos. I have ended up buying one of those. Those are only for $29.99. And what I love about them is that they are trailing already. So, you know, it is a little bit slower of a Pothos plant to grow, but they already have them trailing. So I ended up just buying it for that instant gratification. And then we've got a Skindapsis Silver Ann right over here. Look at how beautiful that is. And that is only for $12.99. Beautiful looking plant. I love the silver foliage, just the velvet texture of the Skindapsis Silver Ann. Um, it's another plant that is a little bit slower growing. And then we have a Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight. Look at that um, vein on the leaf. Um, that is also one that you would actually see at a big box store, something like at Walmart, Lowe's, or even Home Depot as a trending tropical Costa Farms plant. But if you're just looking for something a little bit smaller, Plants and Planters has a lot of these four inch starter plants. Now these are gorgeous. Look at this. This is actually a pretty massive um, four inch planter of a Philodendron Heteraceum Lemon Lime. I love Philodendron um, Heteraceum Lemon Lime because of just the yellow foliage. And I love yellow foliage plants. I love bright um, neon color plants. That one is a classic right there. Now you want to make sure you are giving it quite a bit of light in order for it to actually maintain its yellow um, foliage. And then obviously that Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight. Those are um, pretty slow growing plants of this, um, the Skindapsis plants when you compare them to your Pothos plants. And then notice right over here, we've got a sea of Philodendron, I mean not Philodendron, 
um, Epipremnum Arium Golden Pothos. That is a classic um, house plant. I think everybody probably started out growing plants with a pothos plant, specifically the Golden Pothos. And then as I pan away and just pan up here to show you the rest of what is available here, notice how they just have little sections of different types of um, plant statements here we've got a philodendron um, prince of orange look at how amazing this orange foliage is as it uh, unfurls a new leaf what happens is once it unfurls a new leaf it's like that bright orange and as it hardens and matures it turns into like a tan brown color and then it becomes green um, philodendron prince of orange is another philodendron i think that most people should get just because it's an easy to care for philodendron and it's actually a pretty fast grower and then we are going to be looking at this beautiful sago palm right here actually not sago palm sorry ponytail palm yeah this is a ponytail palm and look at how massive that is as well now ponytail palm is not necessarily a palm it's actually a succulent and that's something i learned um not too long ago about that because you know i often see the um the ponytail palm in big box stores but it's actually a succulent and then you can just see that they just have rows and rows of plants and then look right here philodendron heteraceum rio look at that rio hanging basket this is for 49.99 i remember when rio on um, philodendron rio was just a very difficult plant to get as well as a very expensive plant i remembered when people were selling cuttings one leaf one node cuttings for like 50 dollars now you can get a whole hanging basket for 49.99 so i think that that is um pretty awesome right over here um, nice variegation as well. Now, again, with any type of philodendron heteraceum, bright indirect light is best. If you grow them on a totem pole, they will actually get larger leaves. I mean, look at that variegation right there. You can clearly tell there's a difference between that and the um, philodendron heteraceum Brazil. And then we have a whole table of skin dap. I mean, not skin dap, just all of my plant IDs are all messed up today, but it is actually a Syngonium table. You can see that there is a Syngonium elbow. That is one that I um, find very quick to grow as well. It's more of a vining plant. And then you've got a um, Syngonium milk confetti right over here. Look at that nice little variegation. I would say it would have even better variegation if you give it that bright indirect light. Now with um, syngoniums, you really don't want to underwater them. They don't do very well. They're actually way more susceptible to um, spider mites and diseases um, once they get underwater. So just make sure you stay on top of the watering. Here is a Syngonia wallandii, beautiful plant as well. This is another plant that um, as it matures and gets larger leaves when it's growing up a pole, it starts to lose its um, it's silver um like silver streak but it has like um trilobes that start to develop and then as i pan away you can see the details of this beautiful spider plant like this spider plant i don't think is for sale but it is a massive showpiece plant look at how large it is and look at all of the babies that are just um you know trailing down on it and then you have another spider plant and then we've got even more hanging baskets right over here Another ponytail palm. I love looking at this ponytail palm and it's just a really nice centerpiece. And then we've got a bunch of um, Dracaena white jewels. Now those are for $39.99. Now these Dracaena white jewels, beautiful variegation. It does um, thrive in medium to um, bright light. Um, it can tolerate lower light conditions. And then we've got a bunch of um, Ficus elastica, burgundy, beautiful dark foliage plant. That is another plant alongside with that white bird of paradise that needs um, bright light in order for it to really thrive. But as I pan away over here, I just wanted to show you how gorgeous this nursery, this greenhouse is this morning. And over here we have a beautiful lipstick plant so lipstick plant remind me of hoyas as well they've got that um that waxy feel for it now this one is for 29.99 and you can see that it is a nice hanging basket it's super full and then we've got some ficus melanie over here in a tree form i actually need to add a ficus melanie into my collection just because i like these type of um
down here for all of my Hoya heads, my Hoya lovers. Kathy from Canada, I know you love all of these Hoya plants. This one is a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess. We've got a um, Hoya Carnosa Crimson, um, I mean, not Crimson, Hoya Carnosa Tricolor right over here. Look at that beautiful variegation. And this one is already trailing as well. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning stunning right here and that is for 20 or no is it 29.99 no, i believe it's either 29.99 or 39.99 and then look at this hoya compacta this one is massive this one is just the i believe the green form um no actually it's the variegated form wow and that one is for um i believe 79.99 so it's a quite a um, pricey but you know, Hoya Compacta Variegata, this one takes quite a bit of time for it to grow that large. So I can understand that the price is just a little bit steep. But if you want an instant gratification and you want that Hoya, I would definitely buy that. But you can see many different types of Hoyas. And then they just have all of these little statements, these little islands of different plants. They've got a uh, Dracaena mar uh, Marginata right there. We've got a Ficus Elastica Ruby here. And so this one is for $19.99. That's a pretty good prices for the ficus ruby um i like the red tone it has on the leaves and in order for the leaves to really have that red tone you have to make sure that you give it a lot of bright light and then we got a dracaena lemon surprise here for 19.99 love dracaenas i always feel like dracaenas are such an underrated plant there's not a real a lot of talk about dracaenas in the in the youtube community or at least i haven't really seen a lot of like people really featuring that but it's one plant that i would say is an easy to care for plant a plant that's not going to give you a lot of issues and it can tolerate lower light conditions so i i would recommend a dracaena i love them i have about three of them now in my collection and then over here we've got an african violet variegated african violet look at how beautiful that is stunning and even if it's not in bloom i love that and this one's for 14.99 now with african violets for the care tips bright light if um, best you know bright indirect light make sure that you keep the soil moist i would bottom water them versus top watering them because um african violets they don't like their leaves to get wet they don't like to get their stems wet that will actually rot the african violet um, but yeah, it's such a beautiful plant. I love how it's been hybridized, crossbred to where you have different varieties. Look at that underside right there. And these are only for $14.99. Really good price for these African violets. I have one African violet. It's got green on green variegation and it is growing so well for me. Even though I haven't really given it the best care, I actually have given it a little bit more neglect, but it's still doing very well. And we've got a Monstera Deliciosa right over here. Now these ones are um, semi-mature. Um, it's starting to fenestrate, beautiful plant. And then we have a Palia Peperomoides right here for $29.99. I'm actually tempted to buy this because it's already a really established um, Chinese money tree plant. Notice how they've got several babies here. This used to be um, the it plant. It is also known as the UFO plant. Super expensive a couple years back now. It is readily available. And you know, something like this that actually self-propagates and pushes out babies it's only a matter of time when that becomes um, very readily available when the the plant pricing goes down so like plant foldies a lot of these plant pricing will go down if you just wait a little bit especially for some of those rare philodendrons um, here we've got that rex begonia now these are beautiful plants as well look at that um, foliage now i am a fan of rex begonia and that's only for 14.99 the thing about rex begonia is they do need a little bit more humidity they definitely don't want to be in direct sun bright indirect light is best and you just got to make sure that you bottom water your rex begonias you don't really want to top water them because when you top water them and get the stems wet they can potentially rot and you don't want that otherwise the, the plant will end up dying i've done that before so i'm speaking on experience but i do love the metallic shine on it i love the um the foliage it typically has those grays and metallic shine on the leaves which makes them very attractive plants we've got especia plants here i love especia plants i remember being exposed to it and these are only for 20 
a $12.99. Um, I like the green one much more so than the, the, the darker foliage one, but you know, both of them actually have beautiful foliage. They've got a metallic shine to it. And as a bonus, I did not realize that they have beautiful pink flowers. I will often see this at um, a big box store as a hanging basket from Trending Tropicals or Exotic Angels Costa Farms plants. You can see that this one is in bloom. I love it. And it's another plant that I would never really um, attribute to blooms, but it is nice to see them that they are in blooms. I haven't really grown this in my plant collection, but it's something that I would eventually want to add. Um, again, it is um, one of those things where I see all of these beautiful plants on a daily basis, just because I do these plant shopping videos daily, try to get that one hour content for y'all. But um, that just becomes a dilemma because I want to add plants all the time. Now here is a plant find. Wow, this is a mutant Mandula pothos or an Epipremnum arium Mandula pothos mutated. What? This is for $39.99. That is actually a pretty good price considering, you know, like a little one leaf, one um, node cutting propagation is like $15. So I am definitely going to buy me a Mandula pothos today. I, I do like some of these more uncommon rare plants. So you'll see me just kind of splurge if I see one. Again, this already busts my budget just because I really should not be spending money on plants. But wow. What a beautiful looking Mandula pothos. Um, plant Foley's, let me know what you think. I would say this is one of the more rare and uncommon pothos plants. It's kind of the same realm as those Japanese Teruno world pothos, but this uh, mutated Mandula pothos, I definitely want to add it. Um, it is a Mandula, but you notice how the leaves are a, um, a different um, shape. It's got a different way of getting that um, variegation. There is a lot of variegation happening actually. So I really like that. Notice how the new leaves come out um, a little bit more of a yellow tone and then it ends up just um, either um, hardening to like uh, white, but what a beautiful pothos here. Lots of leaf interest. It is a very slow growing pothos, however, but it is one that I wanna add to my collection. So like plants and planters, Definitely get some nice uncommon plants as well. That one's a Philodendron Brantianum. We've got a bunch of Sansevieria braided forms, and then we've got some um, Owl um, Eye Peperomia, and then look at that. As I pan away, what gorgeous looking scenery we have here. <laughs> You can see how Plants and Planters has just a diverse selection of plants um, ranging from assorted succulents and cactus, philodendron, tropical plants, just all sorts of plants you can possibly think of. You know, I showed you guys the outdoor section with a lot of their um, outdoor plants, but this indoor greenhouse is fire. I love it and I love that this um, desert rose is blooming. Look at how beautiful that pink is is right there i do love desert rose i've had that in the past and i also like this variegated um rainbow elephant bush i believe that that's what it's called look at how beautiful that is as well really nice looking size plant for a succulent and again you know succulents are not really my forte i don't know a lot about succulents and cactus and specifically for just the plant ids so you'll bear with me but this uh, um, adenium what a beautiful Codex that is right there that trunk this one's for $22.99 beautiful bloom that um that pink bloom or the pink edging on that white bloom is gorgeous I actually am tempted to buy that as well I want to collect um uh those um desert rose and then we just have a green form of this um variegated string of hearts I have not variegated I'm sorry just a regular string of hearts it's still a nice looking plant and then we have some green forms of just crown of thorns here um, I do like that it does bloom and then we have the variegated form of crown of thorns so this is one that I've been eyeing for a while this one is for $22.99 look at how prickly it is but look at how insane that variegation is on the variegated crown of thorns I am tempted to buy this um, succulent we will see it's just that i have been spending a lot of money but look at that that 
variegation is insane i love variegated plants but then again i also love plants that are just green so for me it's really i just love plants in general it just really depends if a plant speaks to me on whether i want to like buy it or not and yes i did say speaks to me because there's just certain plants like that manjula pothos it just basically told me to buy it and i'm going to buy it but you can see here we have a bunch of cactus and succulents it looks like they've actually done quite a bit of a restock and i do love all of the hanging baskets of succulents that they have available at plants and planters this one is the um, succulent that is called the um, ruby necklace right here look at that um, color really nice looking one it looks like almost like a variegated form or a darker form of the string of bananas you can see right here we've got a um, string of hearts and we've got some more um, different types of cactus trailing cactus right over here i think that is the peanut cactus and it's just really nice to look at all of these hanging baskets of succulents and cactus i haven't really been exposed to a lot of hanging baskets of cactus until i started going to plants and planters and then we've got a bunch of cretanthum right here cretanthum is just really a gorgeous plant this one is for $14.99. They come in so many different um, varieties. They remind me of more colorful versions of like six um, bird's nest um, snake plants. You can see this one is a dark foliage one. Just like that really nice gray tone about it. I think that's really cool. And then you can see we've got more cactus right over here. Super cute actually. I like how um, they've got that round form. It looks like a barrel for sure. And then we've got a bunch of assorted um, succulents and cactus this one is a small um devil's backbone variegated this one's 12.99 now this plant is easy to grow my grandmother actually grows these you can just take a cutting um take the bottom two or three leaves stick it in water and it will root easily so it's another plant that um, is easily you know in something that you can actually propagate and then also we've got these burrows tail um cactus right here what a cool looking um burl's tail cactus and this one is also for um i think 4.99 not a bad price at all so you've got an assortment of cactus and succulents and then we also have a string of pearls right over here i do want to get a variegated string of pearls you know i think of pearls I, I think of my home country, the Philippines. We have just so many pearls, but this one, string of pearls for $12.99. And again, this is another plant that is quite the it plant still. And then you can see right here, I actually like this um, chrysanthemum. Um, I do want to add one chrysanthemum to my collection. I just need to do research on like the watering and care tips for it, just because I do like the foliage of it. It kind of reminds me of Sansevieria, but also reminds me of bromeliads in terms of just the coloration. It has all of those pinks um really um fit the aesthetic of what plants i like and then you can see here another kalanchoe i love kalanchoe look at that right here that texture is really nice and that's only for 8.99 that's a pretty good price for it um but this one is the just the gray form i like the teddy bear um kalanchoe though and then you can see right here this is a um kalanchoe flip um flip jacks what a cool looking kalanchoe so notice how there is a stark difference on what it looks like but as i pan away here many different types of hanging baskets succulents and just a lot of diversity again so if you are in the local plant um you know if you are in the if you're a local plant foldy somebody that lives in the dallas fort worth area definitely take a trip out to plants and planters let them know that you found them through grow folds if this is your first time really seeing this nursery um, but this one right here 12.99 beautiful um eonium this one is the eonium mardi gras so the eonium um look is the um look i like for my succulents and then you can see right here we've got some more echeverias like this one is the fuzzy version of an echeveria and then more of those variegated elephant um, rainbow bush and then we've got some um, aloe vera's large form aloe vera's actually in the corner that's um just a recent addition and we've got a ming aurelia here and then we have a combination of variegated dracaena like the bamboo form um dracaenas and bamboo are pretty much similar into uh, in their family genus these ones are the braided form i would actually like to add this into my collection this one is only for twi um, $29.99. Notice the little babies that are popping out of this bamboo. Look at that. That is really cool. And it's supposed to bring you good luck. We've got some red maranthas right over here. 
and we've got bird's nest sansevieria here this one can actually be separated there's several little babies and you can have several plants out of this four inch planter and then we've got a bunch of dracaena lemon surprise here and then um, zz zenzi beautiful compact um, zz plant so if you want one that's more compact and doesn't get really large that one is um your, uh, the plant for you and then this one right here for 12.99 is a dracaena lemon surprise love that neon color on that dracaena that dracaena can get as large as about three to four feet um, with time obviously but it is a plant that i still would recommend for anybody that's into um, growing house plants easy to care for plants and then you can see right here, another gorgeous looking Epipremnum Arium and Joy Pothos. Love this. I ended up getting that. And I did notice that it is a little bit more of a thirsty plant. I think any plant that's in a hanging basket, you definitely have to watch um, for the water, just making sure that you stay on top of the watering. And then also making sure you are providing it with quite a bit of light. Like if you're going to hang it, you don't want to hang it to where it doesn't get light at the very top of the hanging basket. Otherwise, uh, the top part will actually... Um, um, decline in health and then you can see right here this is a dracaena malaika it's one of my favorite dracaenas i actually have this dracaena in my collection um and it's getting fairly large i really like the look of it and that's only for 12.99 look at all of the colors you get out of it and that's the reason why i am a huge advocate for people buying and um, getting into dracaena it's an easy plant trust me it's a plant that you don't even have to water as often and it will still live um that's the type of plant for me just because i am so bad about just watering my plants like that is the basic function of a plant they need some water and I, I fail to do that at times but you know I am wanting to be transparent about some of my plant you know uh, blunders some of my plant um, opportunities and that's the thing I just I need to get better at watering my plants but anyhow we can see here more um peace lilies we've got even more dracaenas notice how these dracaenas these lemon surprises have gotten larger and you see how they become more of like a cane form again that is another large form plant that if you have a darker space in your home you can put that there and then you can just see how massive this greenhouse is love the philodendron summer um glory i ended up getting one of these a smaller form but look at how large they get the larger form is beautiful i love that like tan um um, um form over it or this that color and then this one is pretty large as well it has a natural shine about it that i appreciate it and then um, when i actually spray like my neem oil on it it actually gives it a nice little shine but that is another easy to care for philodendron and you can see here wow this is just absolutely stunning see plants and planters is just a jungle and you can see that they have this gorgeous looking aglonema this one is for 39.99 this is the um, aglonema um, spring snow look at how beautiful that variegation is it's super white so again this is another plant that if you want to put it in a darker space in your home it will light up your space but I am just going to walk through some more of these plants. You can see these large forms of the Sansevieria. And then we have a, a bigger forms of the Ficus Elastica Burgundy here. Look at that red tone that this particular Ficus plant has. And again, that is a plant that you have to give a lot of bright light in order for it to really thrive. Ficus plants, that's what I think makes them a little bit more challenging is just the lighting conditions. Most people's lighting conditions in an indoor space just doesn't fit bright indirect light unless you have just a bunch of windows like tall windows that can provide that but if you are able to you will be rewarded with beautiful plants like the ficus elastica but as i pan away here like there's just so many beautiful plants like i can't get over it and that's probably the reason why i feature this local plant nursery often this is my fourth time making a video of it and i hope that for those that typically look for big box store plants that um you've stuck around to really watch this um local nursery if you ever plan to visit the dallas fort worth area i would recommend going to this local plant nursery they have um they're pretty much open seven days a week um they typically open i believe at 10 so you'll just have to double check their um their hours of operation but you can see like look at this 
another table full of sansevieria and that's the thing i like about um plants and planters is that they organize their plants based on what type of plant it is and just just the organization and merchandising is really it really makes you inspired to pick up plants and that's really the difference between a lot of big box stores versus a local plant nursery is just the plant styling and then also just the merchandising now this um, table right here has a bunch of assorted philodendron you can see right here this is a philodendron gloriosum for $29.99 and philodendron gloriosum is not a climbing philodendron it's a philodendron that likes to crawl so you want to get a um, a pot that's actually either really wide or one that is more um, horizontal so that way you can let it just crawl um, crawl across this one is a philodendron um, Pariso Verde I believe that's what it is um, it's another plant that it, its variegation is really influenced not by light but the actual heat around it and then right over here is a beautiful philodendron Belitiae um, I want a um, philodendron bolitiae. I love the orange stem specifically. I would love to get a variegated form of it, but the, the pricing for the variegated form is still quite high. And I am the type of person now that I will just wait for the plant pricing to go down. Um, you've noticed that I did do a video um, where they were selling philodendron Florida beauties, variegated um, philodendron um, domesticanum, and a philodendron strawberry shake at HEB. Those were just some beautiful um, philodendron and they were a really good price. And then over here, we've got a beautiful philodendron white princess. Look at that half moon variegation. I have this um, philodendron as well, but notice how this is super healthy in a six inch planter. So if you want some philodendrons, Plants and Planters has you. They, they, they really do bring in a lot of varieties of plants. And I just like how they do have them all separated in, in a table, which is very similar plants, very similar care tips. All of those plants will thrive with better bright indirect light. If you can give them a little bit more humidity, they do um, even better beautiful philodendron sun red this is one plant that i definitely need to add into my collection i just like the look of it and this one looks to be a little bit more sun stress this one is for 19.99 so it looks like it's gotten more of like a bronze burgundy color but i do like the um the new leaves that unfurl it's a bright red color and this one is i believe for um 39.99 this is a philodendron ring of fire but this philodendron ring of fire is already a pretty large and established one so if you see these at big box stores yes they you will get them for a little bit less but if you want instant gratification like this one is already ready to climb i would definitely get um, a philodendron ring of fire at plants and planters We've got a Raphidophora tetrasperma here for $14.99. Now, this is another easy to care for plant. It's actually a pretty fast plant. This plant likes to climb. It's not a plant that you can really let trail. It creates stems that really want to grow upward versus going down. And then we've got a bunch of Hoyas here. Smaller Hoyas. These ones are the Hoya Kintii or the variegated Wayetii. And then we've got a variegated um, Hindu rope or a variegated um hoya compacta this was for 26.99 that's not a bad price at all for a variegated form i would consider buying it and again if you actually provide it with a lot more light these boy um these hoyas will actually get sun stress and give you some pinks and reds as well and then you can see here beautiful philodendron snowdrift i actually got one as well of these plants this is a little bit of a slower growing philodendron but look at how beautiful the leaves are if you put that snowdrift right next to like a darker foliage plant like this right here this one is another um, beautiful philodendron this is the macaulay's finale look at that and i love how the the leaves are a little bit wider and and just just wider and it also has a really cool dark foliage on it that is another dark foliage um plant that i would add to my collection it is another easy to care for plant many of these philodendrons are just really easy to care for now this one is a little bit more challenging this one is a philodendron silver um, mame it's got beautiful um, coloration but the problem is with these types of um um, philodendron they are a little bit more susceptible to spider mites so just you know use caution and then you can see that this is an oak leaf ivy really like this ivy as well it does look like a weed but it is a vigorous grower we've got this massive ficus um i mean a ficus fiddle leaf um fig tree and then we also have these um uh, dracaena massagiana and then we have all of these um 
different ficus um, altissimus that green on green variegation is gorgeous and then we also have that bird of paradise tons of perfect um, perfect I, when i say perfect um, hanging baskets of spider plants we've got some philodendron um, burly marks and then we also have these large um, philodendron um, pink princess growing up a totem and notice how the leaves have gotten pretty large it's got some decent variegation right here like this new one right here is beautiful what do you guys think about that pink um, leaf right there please leave that in the comments plant foldies again i like seeing lots of comments in the comment section i really hope you'll take the time to put your insights maybe even talk about your experiences of plants and planters what plants you like i i, I want to know it all and then right over here, we've got um, some xanthosoma. So that is um, pretty much like a caladium or an alocasia. I don't even know how to like um, classify that, but it is another plant that you see is a common plant you find in a big box store. Um, it has some beautiful um, leaves though. Look at that leaf. And we have some alocasia bambino. These are $16.99. So this is more of a dwarf form of an alocasia. Needless to say, it is a beautiful plant. It's a plant that you could add in a smaller space. So that's the thing. Some of these big philodendrons are these big plants that you find at Plants and Planters. I wouldn't be able to just store them in my home just because I don't have that big of a space. But they have so many smaller plants that you can pick and choose from. And that's the reason why, you know, I always you know, want to recommend this um, local plant nursery. Obviously, I do the big box store plant shopping videos, but if you're going to ask me, I also like to showcase all of these local plant nurseries because they have beautiful plants. Some of these plants that you may not see at a big box store. Like I don't really ever see a big box store carrying a watermelon pepperomia, $12.99 very good price for this four inch um, starter i need to get a variegated uh watermelon i have a, a variegated watermelon peperomia that i ended up getting at pita's planters and if you haven't checked out that video please check out pita's planters i have two videos that really document and detail the, the plants that they have that is another local plant nursery that i so fully support and really recommend please support those small businesses and then this is a peperomia green bubble so i think that this has such cool texture on the leaves it is an unusual looking peperomia and then we've got a, a, a another variegated peperomia this is a peperomia ambricos this is one that i actually want to add to my collection as well notice that it has those little rat tails those are actually the bloom so it looks like it's a happy camper and whenever you see um, a, a plant that's growing flowers, especially one that's really grown for its foliage, know that you, you probably need to cut the, the blooms because it stuns the growth of the plant. You can see right over here, look at this beautiful um, peperomia as well. I really like that silver gray foliage on it. And this one is super compact. What I would recommend though with these peperomias that are super compact is to just bottom water them versus top watering them so you don't get the leaves wet. And then you can see here, Ficus lyrata, beautiful tree forms. Um, that, those plants require bright light. And then as I pan away over here, we've got even more plants um, available for you, know, for you to just check out. Lots of beautiful hanging baskets. I mean, I just can't get over plants and planters. There is just a certain level of peace I get whenever I go plant shopping here or just even featuring them. Like this is such a cool looking spider um, plant, just the baby forms that just have come out of the, the mother plant and all of these hanging baskets here. So plant foldies, what do you think of all these plants that we have featured so far at Plants and Planters? Are you ready to go visit Plants and Planters? If you do, please say hello to Shelly. She's super friendly. She has always been so kind to me and she and I always talk about plants whenever I visit this nursery. And I do visit this nursery quite often. I have been visiting this Plants and Planters for quite a while. So I, I love it. I mean, look at this um, philodendron or, um, or Prince of Orange right over here. And then we just have even more plants. Look at that massive root system on this particular plant right there. This one is an Aglonema Moonlight Bay. Look at that variegation. It's got some grays. It's got some stripes. It's got it's got a lot of things going on with it. And that is another Aglonema I would love to add to my collection. So if you like um, Aglonema, uh, Plants and Planters has it. And if you just want to be in a space like this where it's just peaceful, beautiful, lush greenery, take yourself make yourself a go to this place take a trip to plants and planters um, you'll see that they just have so many beautiful plants available
what a greenhouse paradise plants and planters um, looks and you can see right over here beautiful spathophyllum domino or peace lily these are the variegated forms now this is one of the easiest plants to take care of the only thing is you just need to make sure that you are providing it with lots of water peace lilies are super thirsty but as i just walk over here and i'm about to um complete this video um i am just excited that i finally found a mandula pothos mutated that i am going to end up getting just because i've been looking for this particular plant I love both those plants. They're just easy to take care of. And then I'm just going to pan out one last time to show you how beautiful this is just as you enter this actual greenhouse. Um, I am going to be ending this video soon. And I did want to show you this um, Arabian Jasmine. This is the national flower of the Philippines. But you can see outdoors, beautiful Japanese maple. So plant foldies. Let me know what you think about plants and planters. Really appreciate you guys that, um, that always tune into all of my live um, videos, the live premieres. Um, you know that I will always feature these local plant nurseries. Please shop plants and planters. I will see you on the next one. Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we'll be grocery store plant shopping at Kroger Marketplace in Frisco, Texas, right off of Custer Road. As always, please make sure you're hitting that like button and following me on Instagram at Grow Folds to get in direct contact with me, as well as subscribing to my YouTube channel for daily plant shopping videos. So today we're going to be going to this Kroger, Market, um, Kroger Marketplace. I haven't been here in a while, but I heard from a little birdie that they may actually be hosting some rare plants. Now Kroger has been um, able to get a couple of really cool plants like that Monstera Thai Constellation. We've been able to find some Florida um, ghost here, Philodendron Florida ghost. But as I walk in here, you can see that they've got some new items coming around father's day is around the corner you can see that they have a full display right over here really cool looking display i love grocery stores for their displays and you can see that if you're ever going to go plant shopping at a grocery store all of their plants are going to be available in the floral section um, you can see right here they've got some blooming plants starting at 9.99 so we're just going to take a look at some of these plants like we've got some gerbera daisy now with gerbera daisy these are in a nice little planter here this is for 9.99 99. Um, these daisies actually need to be grown out in a lot more light. Um, it will not do very well indoors. So if you are going to grow these indoors, you want to make sure that you are providing it right next to a south facing window. Same thing with Kalanchoe. I really like the look of Kalanchoe, especially the yellow blooms. You know, Kalanchoe, the floral versions have so many different varieties of blooms and they are readily available at a big box store, especially at a grocery store. And I like that this particular crow marketplace has some really good plant merchandising i've talked about that before where you know it really just depends on your presentation for the types of plants that you have here like you can see right over here we've got some beautiful jibera daisy again really like the white um daisies that we have right over here it is an easy to care for plant it's a plant that you'll see often and for those that are new to this to the channel i do call my viewers and subscribers plant foldies if you are new and are able to watch this vi um, video during a live premiere please say hello we are steadily growing our subscriber count our community and it's just really exciting to see that you guys are still continuing to watch all of my plant shopping videos we are close to 10,000 subscribers and as the title suggested i will be doing another plant um, a rare philodendron giveaway um, i'll give you a couple of the details but definitely in order for you to participate in the free um, plant giveaway you've got to have an instagram account and you have to be a u.s resident unfortunately i'm not able to ship um, plants outside internationally so for those that are not um, in the united states i do apologize we do have quite a bit of plant foldies shout out to all of my canadian plant foldies i love y'all you guys are amazing maybe some um, at some point i may be able to ship internationally but as you can see here this kroger just has a bunch of beautiful little miniature roses and then we also have a peace lily right here or a spathophyllum what an easy to care for plant and you know i talk about spathophyllum being one of those plants that can tolerate really low light conditions um, the miniature roses though will need to be under a grow light under a south facing window somewhere where it gets a lot of light you know it is a rose and roses um, thrive better in full sun so just keep that in mind as you see that there are a lot of blooming plants you want to make sure that these blooming plants um, have the ample amount of light if you're going to grow them indoors 
and you can see right over here these are more spout the phylum and what i like about spout the phylum or peace lilies is they can get fairly large as well so if you want a large plant that can tolerate lower light conditions um you can get a peace lily now kroger has some great prices these are only for 19.99 so i always suggest you know um, plant pricing and just really comparing and contrasting um, plant pricing it is a, a thing where you want to make sure that you are getting the best value for the plants um i would say kroger we just recently visited trader joe's grocery stores when they are selling plants are typically inexpensive as compared to a lot of areas and you can even see right over here we've got some gorgeous looking orchids so you can see this one is a deep purple and blue these are actually not naturally colored orchids these are orchids that um i think they were able to feed them some type of um food coloring to really dye the look of those orchids um, and then you can see here we've got more baskets of flowers you know different types of combinations i think we have some um some different types of plants that just in that combination basket so i think that's interesting you know a lot of the plants that you'll see at a grocery store like kroger is really meant to be more of like floral type gifts versus like indoor tropical plants or house plants but um you can even see here look at the amazing looking philanopsis orchids that they have here all of these white blooms are 29.99 these are the swan and flamingo orchids they do have these trellises where they just look really nice and i just love white blooms you know flowers that are white just give this certain elegance about them and i am all about you know elegance and classiness when it comes to plants you can see here they've got the tea the espresso cup varieties look at this right here these are the more miniature type philanopsis orchids these ones are for 9.99 so the smaller varieties are 9.99 i did um, end up finding a variegated version um, in a small teacup size so for 9.99 um, i do have a little surprise for one of my plant viewers um, um, planting with pete who actually has a youtube channel i will be sending him in um, a little variegated um, orchid as well and you can see right here these are live trends um, planters this one is for 9.99 and this is a really cool looking dinosaur with a uh, hawarthia in it so hawarthias all of these plants that are in these little planters here Hawarthias are actually succulents, but these are succulents that um, don't require nearly as much light as a typical succulent. I recently learned that they are a little bit more low light tolerant. I do love Live Trends planters. They always have fun planters. They have some really stylish modern planters. I would even go to say that Live Trends probably has the best plant planter styling or the aesthetic that I appreciate. But you can see here, these are super cute and these are for $9.99. Hawarthias are low maintenance succulents. So if you're looking to add a succulent into your house plant collection, I would recommend a Hawarthia. And then over here, we've got a Philanopsis orchid, really nice looking orchid right over here. Really nice coloration on it. You can see that a lot of Philanopsis orchids have some really nice um, colors, different types of textures. They have a different face. And they almost remind me of like pansies as well. This one is also on like a little um, stake just to keep the, um, the, the flowers balanced. Now, a lot of people will ask how long do these um, Philanopsis orchids last in terms of the bloom? This one's actually for $13.99. I would say um, orchid blooms on Philanopsis will last for about a month, maybe a month and a half. Then it takes just a little bit while for them to rebloom. But once they rebloom, um, that is, you know, a success. A lot of times people will just toss a Philanopsis orchid once it's done with the bloom, which is unfortunate because in the wild, they're not always constantly blooming. We just so happen to get these orchids when they are in bloom but you can see the white orchids right over here and then we've got these blue orchids and those purple orchids now these are all um dyed with food coloring so these are actually not naturally uh, um, you know occurring colors same thing with that hot pink in the background right there um, that one in the bottom left is not um, natural, but you can see all of the other colors are amazing. You can see this bowl right here with a beautiful orchid arrangement. I do love the fact that they have them on trellises, so they've been able to kind of train them to kind of um, cascade. Really beautiful looking orchid. And you can see here, this is another orchid that is not necessarily a naturally occurring pink. Needless to say, it's still a beautiful color. I prefer the natural colors versus dyed um, flowers, but some people might be into that. I've even seen like 
rainbow varieties where it's just multiple colors on a bloom um, I just think there's just they just look a little too artificial for my taste like if I'm gonna have a, a flower I, I want them to be fresh I want them to be living I want them to have a natural look about them but as I pan away over here this Kroger marketplace is one of my go-to places to go for plants um, you know oftentimes people don't really consider a grocery store a place to go plant shopping but they've got some really good selections like take a look at this right here we've got a peperomia rousseau for $8.99 really like this peperomia rousseau as well that is a really good price and these are sourced out by mason farms so i've talked about mason farms as one of the plant nurseries um, that source out to kroger specifically in some of these other grocery stores um, i just really like that their plants are pretty valued at a good price like this one's $8.99 for a palea plant or this is an aluminum plant right here really like that metallic shine as well it's a gorgeous plant it's a plant that i am all about out and it's a plant that um you know i have been collecting i've been collecting a lot of different types of palea plants the only thing about palea plants and i'm surprised i've been able to keep them alive is that they do require a little bit more water i tend to not water my plants nearly as much as i should be due to time constraints and then you can see over here we've got another type of peperomia this one is for also $8.99 really like the look of this particular peperomia I like that silver foliage here. Even the veining and the texture of the leaves is absolutely stunning. I really like the look of the, um, the, the, the blooms as well. So those little rat tail things are actually blooms. And whenever you see a peperomia or any plant that's actually blooming, that should tell you that the plant is more mature and also it's in a um, happy growing environment to where it feels like it can push out blooms. The only drawback is if you see a plant in bloom, you want to probably cut off the blooms because if you're growing for foliage, and I've said this in all my videos, it takes a lot of energy from the plant to produce a bloom versus actually putting its energies to grow new leaves. So you want to make sure that um, you're getting rid of the blooms. But here is just this table. And what I will say about Kroger grocery stores, especially the marketplace, is they, they take a lot of um, plants. You get a lot of really nice plants for a very small um, surface um, space of just um where they actually display the plants these are for $8.99 again these are the polka dot plants the red varieties I like polka dot plants. I almost feel like these would only be really good patio annuals. So, you know, when you talk about an annual plant, you talk about a plant that will only grow for one season. And then everybody's favorite, a plant foldy favorite, these are the Hedra Helix. What I like about the Hedra Helix or the Hedera Helix, which is the correct way to say for English Ivy, it is just a plant that um, you guys already know the story. I love it. It doesn't love me. It's an, um, a hard to care for plant, but it's a plant that unfortunately I can't get away from. So I am all about that. And then over here, Hoya Carnosa. So who would have thought you would find Hoya plants at a grocery store? Kroger actually has a good selection of Hoyas. I've seen some really uncommon Hoyas pop up for a really good price. And then we've got a Ficus Elastica Burgundy right over here. This is another Mason Farms um, plant. This one is for... $13.99. Look at how dark that foliage is right here. I love dark plants. Black plants are amazing. It is, um, you know, a plant that I tend to gravitate to, especially that Ficus Elastica Burgundy. You can see they've got several different varieties, but, um, you know, it's, it's just really cool to see that this particular grocery store is really close to where I'm based at. It's literally just a five minute um, drive around, um, and it's one that I can frequently um, visit. And that's the reason why plant foldies, you will notice that there are certain locations that I have featured on multiple videos and that's because I intentionally want to show you updates plant restock so if especially if you are a local plant foldy or somebody that lives out in the Dallas Fort Worth area please 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 subscribe to my channel if you want to at least stay up to date with what plants are um, being brought into the Dallas Fort Worth area again I do plant shopping videos I basically am filming every single day and trying to get information on what plants are coming in and then this is is a amazing plant find. Have you ever seen a Peperomia raindrop camouflage? And this is only for $13.99. Like I am debating on whether I should get this variegated Peperomia raindrop. It's a beautiful Peperomia. It's got a large Peperomia leaf, but look at the modeling on the, um, on the leaves. This is green on green variegation. This is a highly uncommon, almost rare Peperomia. And for only $13.99, 
I probably should buy it. So plant foldies, I love comments in the comment section. Please leave it in the comments if you would buy this Peperomia raindrop camouflage or variegated Peperomia raindrop. This is such a beautiful plant. It's a plant that can get fairly large and that green on green variegation is amazing. Now I will assume that this variegation is more, um, more influenced by the amount of light it receives. And it looks like they have two of them. So like, I don't know, plant foldies, what do you think? Like, I was not expecting to find an uncommon or rare Peperomia camouflage. Would you buy this? And if so, tell me the reason why you would buy it. Like, I really should not be spending any more money than I do on some of my plants. But for some reason, I just tend to go ahead and spend all the money that I have. It's really, um, <laughs> it's really just crazy that I am basically buying a plant almost every single day because I am doing plant shopping videos. I almost dropped that but i was just going to double check the price but it is 13.99 that is a pretty nice looking plant if i was being nitpicky there are a couple of like cosmetic situations where it has a couple of torn leaves but you know if i were to give it some tender love and care it would eventually become a nice specimen plant so um i just can't get over that and it is only for 13.99 so plant foldies let me know what you think in the comments you know i always ask one way you can actually support the channel is if you've made it this far and haven't already please make sure you are hitting the like button especially if you're actually joining this video during a live premiere before even the live premiere starts or during the live premiere go ahead and exit out of the chat click the like button and you can go enter the chat back in i cannot tell you how um, helpful it is for me to be able to get um, those likes on the videos youtube will push the video to more um, plant lovers like yourself and it just makes it more of a fun place to be at when you have multiple people chatting and just seeing our community grow over here we've got a Pelea peperomoides this is another plant for $19.99 you can see that this is a plant that has several little baby shoots coming out um, I would love to actually add this to my plant collection I just like the unique look the unique shape of the leaves and then right over here we've got a Dracaena lemon surprise this one is for $19.99 I will say out of all of the um, plant pricing I think Kroger's six inch starter planters are a little bit more on the steeper side I, I feel like they should be selling it more so for like $12.99 $14.99 but like $19.99 is a little bit high for me if you're if I'm being completely honest and then I do like this so I've never seen a um, China doll plant as a bonsai form and what I mean by that is look at the large leaves and then you can just see that the trunk is super thick it's like a stump that they just cut and then they had several shoots pop out this one is sort of for $24.99 I honestly would buy this plant but I would probably repot it I don't really like the planter but it is a nice little stump I do like the china doll plant but the problem with china doll is it is a very thirsty plant I ended up killing the one I bought from HEB which is another local grocery store only available in Texas it was an exotic angels costa farm um, plant but it was only for three dollars and 97 cents but i was just disappointed but that's the thing whenever you kill a plant or a plant doesn't do well in your care always reassess what you could have done differently truthfully i didn't realize it was a very thirsty plant and that's another plant that i don't think i'll add into my collection for now just because i don't have the best watering routine but as you can see here another beautiful hoya carnosa crimson princess right here now with Hoyas, they do require a lot of bright and direct light. They like humidity. Apparently this one is on for $13.99, but apparently Hoyas will bloom if you give them those right lighting and humidity conditions. And also if they are able to attach some to like a trellis, um, they really like that. And then zebra plant. What I like about the zebra plant, it does have some inter interesting foliage. This one is also for $13.99. Um, I do like it, but I've heard that this plant can be a little bit more finicky. So it's one of those plants that I somewhat steer away from just because of how um, difficult of a plant it could be. But wow, plant foldies, check this out. This is another plant fine, plant fine, plant fine. So this is the Philodendron Squamiferum. And this is another uncommon plant. This is by that same rare plant um, provider that provides to... Um, this is the Tropic um, Treasures um, provider that has provided us with the Philodendron um, Florida Ghost. That was their last release. They had a Monstera Thai Constellation. They had the, the Philodendron um, um, Marble 
um, queen, not marble queen, marble pink princess. And now they have the philodendron squammy ferrum. I love philodendron squammy ferrum. I actually have a large one that's already growing up a pole that I got from another local plant nursery called Green Acres. That one's out in Melissa, Texas. If you haven't already, please check out that local plant nursery video of Melissa. Um, of the um, green acres i ended up getting a huge uh, um, philodendron squammy ferrum but who would have thought like three to four years ago when this plant was extremely rare you would find this available at a grocery store called kroger in frisco texas for 19.99 like these are super healthy philodendron squammy ferrums. You know, we talk about all of the rare and uncommon philodendron that have been popping up in all of these grocery stores. Like uh, about three days ago, I found a bunch of really cool looking philodendron Florida beauties, a variegated philodendron domesticanum, and a philodendron strawberry shake from the HEB that's literally across the street from this particular Kroger. So you better believe that after I am done shopping at this particular location, I am gonna go check and update to see if all of those philodendron Florida um, beauties and all of those amazing variegated philodendron have sold out. But this looks to be like they just literally got this off of a pallet and started putting down philodendron squammy ferrum. So here's the thing about philodendron squammy ferrum. They pretty much share the same type of um, same type of um, care conditions like most philodendron they do prefer bright indirect light um, they prefer more humidity if possible they do better and this particular philodendron does like to climb so if you put it on a totem pole a moss pole a plank it will um, grow up that pole attach its aerial roots and will actually mature the leaves so the leaves will actually change a little different shape it'll end up fenestrating and really just changing its shape right now these are semi juvenile form leaves you can see that the leaves are starting to um, change the, the, the shape of it. They get a little bit more serrated. But what I love about the philodendron squammy ferrum is you can see the petioles and the stems have that fuzzy, um, fuzzy texture around it. I also like the fact that it's got a dark maroon stem about it. It is more of a vigorous growing um, philodendron, so it's an easy plant to grow. It's actually a really easy um, philodendron to grow. I always found it interesting that this is um, still considered an uncommon philodendron. But as of today, now that I've seen it at a Kroger grocery store um, this I would consider as a common philodendron and you know it's it's getting to the point where a lot of philodendrons that were uncommon or rare are just readily available you can find them at so many other locations like I mean the philodendron Birkin for instance that was a philodendron that was uncommon about three to four years ago now you can't go to a big box store a grocery store and not find it but I am so excited and so surprised to see that Tropic Treasures has really least some philodendron squammy ferrum what i would do with the philodendron squammy ferrum is plant about three or four in the same pot with a um, totem pole or moss pole in the middle and just let all of those um, plants connect and you'll have a super full plant um, it is amazing to see these actually in a full totem pole now if you haven't checked out my um, other local plant nursery shopping video of plant keeper incorporated that is another local nursery out in downtown dallas and for those that are new to this channel i am actually based out in north dallas so the majority of my plant shopping videos all of these locations are typically going to be seen in the dallas fort worth area but if you want to see an amazing um, hold on by the way this is a beautiful ficus elastica burgundy again this one is for 19.99 um to get back onto the subject of the um, philodendron squammy ferrum if you want to see one that has grown up a six feet um totem pole check out plant keeper incorporated and you will see the absolute beauty of a philodendron squammy ferrum it is a sight to behold it is an easy plant to grow and even though this is just a green philodendron with some fuzzy petioles it is one that is highly sought after i think it's a beautiful look it's got an exotic feel because of the um the fuzzy um, petioles and it's one that's easy to take care of it's easy to propagate from cuttings as well and you can see here i wanted to show you more of these artificial colored um orchids philanopsis orchids they're they're nice but i just wouldn't be about that but i am about these philodendron squammy ferrum if i already didn't have three philodendron squammy ferrum growing in my collection i would totally buy this for 19.99 that's actually a pretty fair price i've seen it for a little bit less but these are actually fairly established philodendron squammy ferrum so i'm gonna have to check out what other um, plants tropic treasures is going to release so what i've realized is that every five weeks 
Kroger will release another type of rare plant. So I'm interested to see. So I've heard some rumors that there was going to be some more variegated philodendron, potentially um, some really rare ones. Now, if they ever do another release of a philodendron, um, of florida of ghosts i may end up buying some more because mine are doing very well and it's another plant that's just doing very well um but you can see here they've got um philodendrons kwame fair in multiple areas it's interesting that they actually display a lot of these rare and uncommon plants on the back side of the back end cap of these these little plant tables you would think that they would feature these rare or uncommon plants right at the front but you know i'm not the one making those decisions and truthfully it makes it easier for me to find and possibly buy rare plants like this one has a lot of leaves this one looks super healthy so plant foldies let me know what you think about the philodendron Squamy Ferrum. Would you purchase a Philodendron Squamy Ferrum for $19.99? Um, and do you want me to do another plant giveaway? Would you want me to do a Philodendron Squamy Ferrum um, plant giveaway? Please leave that in the comments. I know some of you guys have asked if I can possibly do a YouTube plant giveaway. I may try to do that, but with YouTube, it's a little bit more challenging to really count the the entries because um, it's just it's just harder to get in touch with somebody versus on Instagram. So some of our plant foldies may not have an instagram account i am planning on um, creating a facebook account so that way we can interact with each other but if you get a chance and you want to see more of my other content that's outside of youtube please definitely check out my instagram account especially if you are a a um, diehard plant foldy um, a subscriber that really follows my videos you will see some really interesting tidbits about myself you might even get clues about what i look like because sometimes i'll post on my instagram what i'm doing on a daily basis you can kind of follow my life that way but um, i'm so excited and i'm really i'm happy that i was able to go find these philodendron squamy ferrum it looks like they released these um philodendron um on the last day of may so you know five weeks from now we might find another really cool looking um philodendron so definitely going to be checking that out but for 19.99 if you are in the local um dallas fort worth area specifically in the mckinney frisco plano allen area if you want to go to this um kroger marketplace this is the one off of el dorado um, in the intersection of El Dorado and Custer Road in um, between McKinney and Frisco. Now it's right across from the HEB McKinney, Texas location, which is another place I will be visiting in just a sec. But you can see here, we've got another plant find. Um, you will save some money on just an uncommon plant. And I always say at grocery stores, especially Kroger, if you want some of these plants, I would definitely check that out. Um, I am so happy I was able to find a philodendron squamy ferrum. If I had a little bit more funds, I would actually buy one. I might still come back and buy one since I don't know if this is something, another philodendron that a lot of people will buy, but it is one that I definitely want to get. But as you guys can see here, I have left the Kroger marketplace and then just went literally across the street to another grocery store plant shopping video this is the heb in mckinney texas um, as always please make sure you have hit the like button if you already made it halfway through this video and you haven't already hit that like button it is the biggest way you can support my channel and if you want to follow me on instagram if you want to send me a direct message i respond to everybody i love it when all of the plant foldies um, send me pictures of their plants you can ask me questions i'm also open to sponsorships or collaborations so just let me know as long as you're a legitimate person with positive intent i will definitely engage with you but this is an amazing heb i shop here often i am pretty much at this heb checking out plants maybe two to three times every week so know that i will keep you posted i haven't been really looking into the indoor section but i was super shocked to have found some amazing philodendron but i'm gonna walk over here it is um late afternoon it's about 7 30 um in the evening when i went here um there was actually a live premiere chat and i do apologize to the plant foldies if for some reason i'm not able to interact with you guys during a live premiere chat um, most of my live premieres are scheduled for 7 p.m central standard time but um you know if i'm not able to it's because i'm literally filming i am doing my very very best to just try to get you guys some daily plant shopping videos but you can see here this is a fatsa japonica or a japanese aralia really like that a lot they've got some miniature um, magnolia trees so magnolia trees do extremely well in the deep south they can um, tolerate really hot conditions and they have very fragrant flowers <laughs> Thank you. 
And what I like about HEB as well is that they just have outdoor plants as well as indoor plants. Um, I am faceless, but you can see that I have a little bit of a silhouette in the background. So if you're curious to see what I kind of look like, you can see my shadow in the background. But anyways, these are some Bougavillea for $8.97. These ones are beautiful plants as well. Now with Bougavillea, they need to be out in full sun. They prefer the heat. Um, they do not tolerate colder conditions. So um, for my grow zone, which is 8B, they will not do well in the winter. And that's why you have to grow Bougavillea in containers or grow them as annuals. You can see here we do have some Texas soil potting mix for only two dollars and 97 cents that's a really good value for some potting soil mix and then we've got a bunch of um, herbs right here now we're going to walk on the other side and see that they have um, canna lilies for 12.97 these are interesting canna lilies because you can see that they've got a little bit of yellow and red tone to it and then we've got two for 15 dollars so we got some petunia hanging baskets i have to say that heb grocery stores have some of the best value for their plants um, i would say that grocery store so we saw a kroger grocery store but even heb has some amazing value for their plants they've got a pretty good selection of plants i would even say that they pretty much have a garden center available you can see they've got planters um, and this is the mckinney location one this one just was recently opened not too long ago and this is one that i like to visit often you can see here they've got some fragrant jasmine here for 24.97 you can see that these are um, needing to be on a trellis and just tons and tons of plants so i was here about two to three days ago and they did not have these they've got some caladiums and these caladiums are only for 14 dollars 97 you can see that they've got some nice beautiful pink ones right here look at that i love the leaf it's bigger than my hand gorgeous plant and these are the um, caladiums that I definitely would want to grow in my um, my home I just love pink plants you know I talk about pink plants often and then over here we've got a caladium miss muffet right here so I they do have the plant ID for these specific caladiums I am not as versed about what caladium name you know uh, plant IDs are all I do know is that these caladiums are stunning and it's interesting that they have these caladiums out in full sun I would think that they would burn um, caladiums typically need to be out in the shade so you know, you just have to be really mindful on that. And then we've got some dark foliage crepe myrtles here. Um, these are the first edition crepe myrtles. I really like the look of that as well, since it does have that dark foliage. I like the white blooms on that one specifically. And then you can see they've just got a wall full of different types of annual plants. You can see they've got hanging baskets there for $8.97. Um, a really good value and then just container plants of straw plants um, for $15.97 so I really like straw flowers just because straw flowers are just really gorgeous looking flowers here they've got an amazing um, feel about them they feel like artificial flowers um, but it is a plant that feels like straw and these are only for $15.97 or is it $14.97 look at this one right here they really don't look like real flowers it has one of the most interesting um, textures as far as flowers are concerned and then right over here we've got a bunch of citronella so um, these are for um, $9.97 so if you have a mosquito issue or mosquito problems put some citronella in your patio and it'll kind of repel mosquitoes they hate the smell of citronella and you can see right here I actually have this coleus as well I bought this a while back but this is for $8.97 you notice how it's starting to trail and hang off you can actually cut that piece off stick it in soil and about a week later you have a new coleus plant that's free coleus plants i've talked about this in every single video for the last probably month and a half two months since i've grown to have a coleus obsession they are just easy to care for plants and you get so many free plants from them here we've got some bougavillea for seven dollars and 97 cents in these like quart um, planters right here and that's the thing I like about um, all of the plants that HEB offers. They've got some um, plants that are just easy to care for as well as really good pricing. And what I love about it is all of these plants are locally sourced for the most part. We've got some ocean forest um, potting soil, the large brand um, by Fox Farms. Those are supposedly really good um, potting soil mix. And then we've got a bunch of Kong Coleus plants and these are um, locally grown in Texas. This is the Red, red Kong. And with Kong coleus, they are the more larger leaf varieties of coleus plants. They can get very large in terms of just the size and width. They can get about to three to four feet in length and height. Um, and with just all of these um, Kong coleus make really gorgeous 
plants um, you can put them in your landscape now if you grow them in grow zone 8b which is um, north Dallas area they are an annual they will not survive the winter and they will not come back next spring like they're not a perennial but you can actually overwinterize the coleus plants in two ways you can just take them back and grow them indoors under like a grow light or you can just take cuttings and basically just um, root them and then leave them in water until spring comes around and you can plant them into the soil so as far as the coleus collection I have um, there are many that I definitely want to try to grow in my collection indoors um, I have quite a bit and there are some that I want to make into specimen plants by growing them into like a full-blown indoor tree and then right over here we've got some Durantha Cuban gold um, it is another like um, accent type shrub or ground cover I do like the neon color leaves you can see that this is a really established plant and all of these plants for the most part are locally sourced and grown in Texas we've got a bunch of foxtail fern for seven dollars and 97 cents and there goes my silhouette again so you know I am still going to remain faceless but it gives you a little bit of an idea of what I could you know I look like I am open to meeting out a meeting up with some like local plant foldies that are in the Dallas Fort Worth area if you plan on going to um, plant con 2024 which is on August 31st September 1st Labor Day weekend um I would love to do a meetup. I know there are a couple of plant foldies that are um, going to Dallas for it. So super exciting. It looks like on their Instagram, they will start to be selling some um, plant tickets. So definitely take a look at that. I did also want to look at these Texas stepping stones. Really cool. And um, for those that like wine, you can grow your own wine by getting a grapevine here. Look at that. It's also on a trellis. I am a huge wine fan. I actually love um, red wine. Um, that is something that I will occasionally have a drink just to relax you know you know just a little bit of moderation there but um, you can grow your own grapes as well they sell those at HEB and then you can see right over here we've got some more annual plants and you already know I can always spot a coleus plant from afar this is for $4.97 and you can see this is a flamethrower coleus pink adobo um, so actually it's interesting that it's called adobo because in the Philippines, which is where my family is from, there is a dish we call adobo and it's a really good meat dish. You can cook it with um, pork or um, chicken. There's just a lot of ways to make adobo, but it's really interesting that they call this the pink adobo. Really like that a lot. That is an, a coleus plant I actually do not have. And since it's, it's a flamethrower coleus plant, that means this plant can tolerate a lot more sun than the typical coleus plant. Now we're gonna go into the Texas um, backyard area, which is basically their indoor outdoor section, if that makes any sense. And I have been eyeing these. These are for $14.97. These are huge hanging baskets of like um, pothos plants or epipremnum arium. So they've got enjoy pothos um, mixed with some like J pothos I really like the combination of different types of pothos in there I actually want to do a hanging basket of mixed um, pothos cuttings and just having a different variety of pothos in there you can see that the jade pothos is the green one that is going to be the more vigorous grower and then the enjoy pothos is going to be a little bit slower growing and you can see that the leaves are substantially smaller before $14.97 that is not a bad price at all that is actually a really good cost-effective price I always say that if you have an HEB in your area and you love plants definitely go to HEB because they have some amazing plants so like obviously I've been featuring a lot of the outdoor section the outdoor gardening plants but they have some amazing indoor tropical plants they've got some really priced um, some really good price plants and you can see right here we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten potential um, nodes that we can cut and take cutting so you can get 10 free plants from that one vine um, pothos plants are easy to propagate in water and that you know i always recommend pothos or epipremnum arium for anybody that is starting to grow plants as a beginner now we've got a bunch of costa farms um, cactus right over here or cacti look at this one right here now these don't really have the um, actual plant ids I love um, Costa Farms plants. They're just readily available. And I did want to thank Costa Farms um, for featuring one of my um, Instagram reels on their tiny plants that I found at Lowe's. Um, for those that um, are following Costa Farms on Instagram, please check out that reel. I am so thankful. Thank you to Costa Farms for reaching out to me and utilizing my reels. I hope you guys will continue to utilize my reels. I've gotten a lot of engagement because of Costa Farms, you know, just posting my Instagram 
real and I am all about, you know, featuring Costa Farms plants. I do think that, you know, Costa Farms does an amazing job making plants readily available for the typical consumer or plant consumer like myself. But you can see that HEB just has so many beautiful plants. I love this epipremnum arium and joypothos again high variegation you can see that there is a really good contrast of the white and green variegation and then we've got golden pothos and then we also have all of these plants so these plants were actually six dollars originally but they are now on sale for four dollars and fifty cents you can see we've got a peperomia right here so they're calling these premium foliage but this is some type of peperomia i don't know the peperomia plant id what i do know is a lot of peperomias are quite easy to take care of and then right over here, we have another peperomia. Check that out as well. Really nice waxy looking foliage. And then right on the right is actually a ginger plant. Um, they've got a, um, a variety of different types of premium foliage plants. Right over here, we've got another peperomia. This is for $4.50. I call this peperomia the peperomia golden gate. Really nice foliage, nice variegation on this. This is another easy to care for plant. I actually bought one from um, H-E-B, the one out in Frisco, Texas, and that one was actually a really nice looking one. We also have a um, bird's nest sansevieria, a bird's nest um, snake plant. This one is also for $4.50. They always say the snake plants are easy to take care of, but that the trifasciata sansevieria are a little bit more challenging than you think because their stems or their leaves can rot, so you have to really make sure you do not overwater a sansevieria, but you also don't want to underwater them because they can also get dry root or um, dry rot so if it's too too dry the soil their roots also rot and then you can see here this is the clearance aka um, rescue me plant section and then we've got a bunch of cactus only um, for a dollar fifty so that is a really good price for a lot of these cactus they are super cute you can see that they've got smaller varieties of these cactus you can actually make a cactus arrangement and I am a fan of these little arrangements I myself haven't um, actually grown cactus but it'd be one that I might find interest and i'm just gonna walk over here as you can see heb has many different supplies so they've got different types of fertilizers lawn care plastic planters we've got fox farm um, soils which i recommend and i also use this particular perlite so if i'm gonna buy perlite i will buy it from heb because this bag is only for three dollars and this is organic perlite so i love that a lot if you're interested to see what type of supplies for my soil i use i typically use that and i would would recommend the fox farm potting soil the reason why is um these fox fox farm potting soils do not have like fungus gnat eggs some particular soils and i'm not going to name them um, specific brands will have that and that's the reason why you end up getting like fungus gnats um, some soils are notorious for that and i use this um, bush doctor boomerang fertilizer for my plants so if you're interested in what fertilizers i use i use the boomerang bush fertilizer the liquid fertilizer from um, fox farm and you can see that HEB has a variety of glaze planters. We've got terracotta planters. And honestly, I love terracotta planters, specifically the ones that are very simple like this. Now, these ones are for $6.98. These ones are the four and a half inch planters. I love that a lot. And what I love about these terracotta planters, especially how it's just matte, it's simple, there's no textures. They really give my, uh, my, my plants a more modern feel about them. I really like minimalistic planters although i can also do this right here i like this planter as well it looks like it is handmade now terracotta pots like this um the ones that are unglazed and this one is for three dollars and 98 cents um are good for plants that need to be more on the drier side so if you are an overwaterer the way you can mitigate just keeping the soil um, to stay too wet is um, planting your plants in terracotta pots because terracotta pots will actually suck up the moisture so the soil doesn't stay as wet. Now for people like me, I probably need to use plastic um, planters just because I tend to under um, water my plants, meaning if you have a plastic um, planter, that tends to hold moisture more so than the um, terracotta planter. And then you can see right here, lots of hanging baskets. Now this is a spider plant right here that is one that you can just cut that off stick it in water and you can propagate and get a new free plant 
I am all about saving money in free plants. You know, when you talk about plant pricing, plant financing, um, there is a budget that I think people should um, stick to. I don't because you can see I will probably buy some plants today. But you can see right here, turtle vine plant. This is a um, Calicia repens. Um, it is similar to the trade scanthia. And I do like the fact that this is really full for a hanging basket. And then right over here on the bottom is a lic li licorice plant right here. So I love the silver foliage on the licorice plant. What a cool looking plant. It's got like that Dusty Miller look that really ghostly gray look about it, a powdery tone to the textures of the leaves. So we got a licorice plant um, hanging basket. And um, again, HEB, I have to commend HEB. They just have some amazing plants. I'm a huge fan. For the most part, their plants are um, healthy. And that's the thing about grocery store plants. I feel like the freshness of the plants or the health of the plants are definitely um, a lot more healthy than maybe some of the big box stores we've seen just because they treat foliage plants or plants in general as like produce and so basically they want to keep them as fresh and healthy as possible and then over here we've got some more spider plants we've got a yucca cane plant here and you know i see yuccas often at a big box store or grocery store i just don't know a lot about them they don't really interest me nearly as much and then right over here we've got a chiflera amato or amate sorry um beautiful umbrella tree plant i do like that the leaves have a natural shine about them and these ones i believe are for 29.98 um, it is a nice um, size for a plant and then this is another easy care for a plant you have to give it a little bit more bright indirect light for it to really thrive and then HEB just has amazing handcrafted planters here I like that a lot and as I pan away um, this late afternoon um, early evening you can see we've got some really cute big um, ponytail palms and again ponytail palms are not necessarily palms they are a um, type of succulent plant which i just recently found out and then we've got some sago palms right here now i've grown sago palms in the ground as a child we had one actually in our landscape and it got extremely large now with sago palms you really don't want to grow them in grow zones that get really harsh freezes or snow because it is not going to make it through the winter and then over here, we've got a really large hanging basket of Tridscanthia zebrina or burgundy. What a beautiful Tridscanthia. And the only thing again with these Tridscanthia is that specific one, it does get leggy very quickly branches fall off um very quickly they break off and you can see that that spider plant is really pushing out a ton of little babies um but anyways as you can see right here more big plants at um this heb i do enjoy going to this heb because um it is only within a five to six minute radius of where i am based at and i love that because I can give you guys updates so you know plant foldies i know that these locations you will see often and you may see, recognize some of the plants i've featured but hopefully you will still find interest in checking out these plants i love talking about plants for at least an hour and then the live premiere chats are just fun and i mean like this one for instance is an alocasia stingray that i've featured before these are i believe are for 59.98 huge alocasia stingrays and um what i love about this alocasia stingrays there's two of them i wish i could like have the space to just buy one and grow them indoors but you know number one alocasias are more challenging to grow indoors and then number two space constraints so like if you're ever going to grow indoor plants you really want to assess and i talk about this in every single video you really want to assess your lighting conditions do you have enough light for your plants do you have enough space for your plant do you understand that you know a specific plant might be in a four inch planter but when that um, plant matures in like a year or two or three it may take up like four to five feet of space so just really being planful about like what plants you're bringing in it's going to give you a little bit more joy versus stress because um, i know that i am slightly stressed about the amount of plants i brought into my home however i have been excited that you know on wednesday on um, this past week i was able to do a lot of plant chores but anyways, um, to go back off of my rant, you can see that, you know, HEB does have a, a variety of different types of succulent plants. You know, if I'm going to recommend a place to buy um, succulents, I would say HEB as well because HEB's plant pricing is really good. It's cost effective. You'll save money. And then you'll also just be able to find plants that are better for their value. And what I mean by that is you'll get a larger plant for a better price. 
you can see that this one right here i'm sure that this is some type of crassula i just don't have the plant id for it and that's the thing about certain genus some genus are so elaborate with the amount of plants that they have that they don't have like plant id specific to them like a good example would be rex begonias rex begonias um don't really have a cultivar or a plant id for a lot of them they're just labeled rex begonias and i just recently learned that as well as i did these plant shopping videos truthfully plant foldies i am just surprised honored ecstatic happy all of those adjectives and emotions for you guys really patronizing my videos and the work i put into it um it does take a little bit to make these videos and while they may not be highly edited i like to celebrate the fact that my plant videos um, are more like um, blogs personal blogs where it's really more organic and more raw i don't have a script i don't really have a storyboard i just literally point and shoot um, plants that i find interesting and um, i always want to give you this vibe that you and i are just kind of walking around together and we're hanging out but you can see here beautiful philodendron hope those are um plants that can get really large i've seen a really mature version of a philodendron hope and then we've got a hedra actually this is not a hedera helix or english ivy this is an um, algerian ivy algerian ivy have larger foliage um they're very very similar to um the hedera helix i like that a lot and actually if you are on my instagram i actually posted a story where i did a couple of stickers where i had an origami paper crane and either a japanese maple or an english ivy as part of the background and it's interesting because i did a poll and the majority of people um, gravitated to the origami paper crane with the english ivy so my official logo actually has like a, a, a fenestrated monstera leave in the comments if you would like for me to incorporate an origami paper crane with a hedera helix or a hedra helix instead because i do like the um the english ivy i feel like there's some brand recognition some name recognition to the youtube channel for growfold with the um, english ivy because i'm i'm obsessed about the fact that it's just such a hard different um a challenging plant for me to grow now aglonema silver bay it is another beautiful plant aglonemas are super easy aglonemas i would recommend as well to grow in your um your plant collection it is a plant that i i feel like everybody should grow everybody should patronize and actually have in their plant collection i mean look at that it is a beautiful plant now with aglonema they can tolerate lower light conditions it doesn't mean that you can put it in a dark space and expect it to be really bushy and full if it does get lower light conditions it's going to grow slower it may not be as full and it may not have the best coloration now with the aglonemas especially the ones that are more pink red or have lighter colors they really need more bright indirect light in order to really get the be best coloration for it now silver bay it's um it's one of those plants i would call it a uh, made of steel just because it's really challenging to actually kill it unless you um want to just neglect it and kill it um by just not taking care of it but uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk into the um the, the grocery store and see some of the plants if you were here i am gonna go ahead and show you a lot of the plants so places that um H-E-B gets this they got the max and miles um brand so that's um a brand that actually is H-E-B's um, line of plants. You can see this is a Dracaena right here for $9.98 in a ceramic planter. So I used to actually have this particular plant um, growing, um, and, you know, growing in my collection. This one's also for $9.98. Really nice looking plant. Um, they call it premium foliage. But um, for those that may know what, what this plant ID is, please let me know because I really want to buy this plant again. It is a plant that worked very well for me. It almost seems like it's a trade scan theme but it's not so can anybody please find out the plant id for this if so please leave a comment with a timestamp so i can refer back to it and that's the thing plant foldies i really want to encourage you guys to just leave tons and tons of comments i love responding to them i think it's one of the things that i look forward to is waking up in the morning and checking to see if you guys left comments for my videos you guys can even interact and have full-blown conversations if you want in the the the, the comment section i am 
encouraging it. I would love to see it. And you can see here, though, for $9.98 is a beautiful spider plant. It doesn't um, have any new babies pushing. And I have to say, this is amazing that they have the Philodendron Thai Sunrise. This one's for $29.98. I've actually purchased this Philodendron Thai Sunrise at this HEB. Now, this Thai Sunrise is an uncommon Philodendron. I don't really think a lot of people talk about this plant. But what I love about this plant is it does have some amazing um, variegation. It's got green on green variegation and that's another um, type of variegation I like. That's the reason why I like the Epipremnum arium Global Green Pothos, like green on green variegation. I am in the hunt for a Monstera um, Aurea, for instance, because I like that yellow green on green variegation. Notice how this Thai Sunrise, Philodendron Thai Sunrise, is different from the other one. This one has more lighter leaves. Um, with Thai Sunrise, it's a pretty good growing plant. It definitely needs a pole or a totem to grow up. It is basically the green on green variegation um, or variegated form of a philodendron lemon lime which is another philodendron i like but i do love the philodendron thai sunrise um, i have one growing and you can see here look at that you can see that those aerial roots are really looking to cling onto a pole a moss pole of some nature so we will definitely have to check that out and see if we have those available but you can see it's just such a beautiful looking plant it's a plant that i definitely want to continue to grow in my plant collection i want to grow it up a pole chop it up and prop it and get some more free plants you can see here we've got a bunch of assorted plants here these are some gorgeous looking succulent plants um, i don't know what this particular um plant is but what i can tell you is it is some form of an echeveria so i am you know starting to learn some of these succulents i may not have all the plant ids um, i didn't realize that succulents cannot just grow in full direct sun they have to acclimate and you can see they've got some rare philodendrons right here um, i did want to go over here and pan over so as you can see we've got another phil you know philodendron thai sunrise and we've got a couple of um philodendron florida um, beauties left but we'll go to that in a minute now we've got father days come father's day coming up these are for 15.98 these are some ficus ginseng plants so sometimes these will be grown on bonsai you know in bonsai shallow containers i like that a lot and then we've just got more plants right over here check that out this is a ficus ginseng as well what a cute looking plant um, I've had these in the past. I've actually purchased them at Ikea. And you know, some people have asked me to do a plant shopping video at Ikea. I may end up doing that. I like Ikea planters. Um, I will say Ikea has had plants that were very cost effective in the past, but the last time I went there, their plants were a little bit more on the pricey side. But you know, we'll check it out. If I get a chance, I'll go to Ikea. But you can see right here, these are some bromeliads in a terracotta planter. Love terracotta planters. I feel like terracotta planters are a classic looking um, planter for a, a, a nice classic look and then you can see right here we've got a bunch of blooming anthuriums in a small vase for four dollars and 98 cents these are the pretty in pink collection this one is for 16.98 and what i like about this is this is one of my favorite plants to grow this is a rodeo oyster plant you can see that it's got some purple undersides and then they've got some pink variegation. Now, I will say that the pink is more pronounced when you give it a little bit more bright indirect light. I'm actually growing these outside in full sun and they're doing very well for me. Um, I can actually buy that at Lowe's for a little bit in, um, better of a price though. Here is a Philodendron White Princess. So this is the fairy tale collection. Philodendron White Princess, I have this as well. And you can see right here, this is for $26.98. That's not a bad price at all, considering like philodendron pink. I mean, I said philodendron pink princess. It's actually the white princess used to be way more expensive about three to four years ago. And that's the cool thing about seeing HEB really sourcing out these plants. Now we've got an Alocasia Bambino. I like this as well. This is by Max and Miles. And this one is also for $15.98. So it's still within the range of how much a typical Alocasia um, costs. But you can see with the Alocasia Bambino, it is more of a dwarf form it has more narrow leaves as compared to like the alocasia poly beautiful alocasia it is an alocasia that is a little bit more spider mite prone just like with most alocasias they can be i would say if you're able to grow alocasias outdoors in an unshaded patio they do better outdoors um, indoors you need to provide them with more humidity or better yet just spray them with a spray 
a neem oil spray at least weekly and you should be able to repel some of these um, spider mites but you can see here alocasia pink dragon i love the pink stems of alocasia pink dragon so i have two alocasia pink dragons growing in my collection and they're starting to take off i did neglect a lot of my alocasia so we're going to just see what i can do in terms of just getting them to be a little bit more healthy and that's because i did not water them i did want to show you some of these other plants in like um, three and a half inch planters this is a trade scanthia nanuk i like that a lot and then we've got a variegated um afra plant on the left this one is for i believe five dollars or something like somewhere of that nature but love trade scanthia nanuk it is another um trade scanthia that cost a lot of money a couple years back now they are readily available i actually bought another one at lowe's lowe's actually sells them as like an outdoor ground cover but they are versatile plants you can grow them in full sun or in shaded conditions you can grow them outdoors or indoors they're easy to propagate it's just a really nice pink plant and then we've got a string of turtles right here I love string of turtles i love that it um, actually trails it is a, a pretty Pretty vigorous plant it's a fast growing plant and i absolutely love that as well but it is um, a plant that was sourced out from blanco county texas so all of these plants again were grown in texas and and i am all for it you can see here this is another variegated afra or some type of succulent plant look at how that's got some cream variegation on the edges of the leaves again this is also for five dollars around like five dollar range so um HEB has an amazing price for a lot of these plants. I hope that if you don't live in Texas, but you ever, you know, you visit um, Dallas and you're able to go to an HEB, definitely check it out. You'll find all of these plants and you'll always be surprised about some of the plants that they offer because they are constantly getting restocks. And I did want to just take a little bit of time to show you this as well. So this is another Ficus Elastica. This one is for $15.98. Really like the look of this one. This almost looks like the Ficus Elastica Chloe um, that Proven Winners um, offers. And then you can see right over here here these are the last of all the philodendron that were here about two days ago so they had a bunch of philodendron florida beauties um, they do have a little bit more of the philodendron thai sunrise i do think that this philodendron thai sunrise is a little bit underrated in terms of like the uncommon and rare plants because this one is actually really easy to propagate and multiply so if you want free plants i always recommend um, propagation and then you can see right here this is a variegated philodendron domain this is the plant that I will end up buying um, because I want to do another plant giveaway. I recently um, ended a Monstera Thai Constellation free giveaway on Instagram. So if you are wanting to um, win this free variegated philodendron domesticanum, um, definitely make sure you have Instagram. What I am going to do is I'm going to announce um, how long the um, the entries will last. I think it's going to be three weeks to just give everybody a chance. What you'll need to do is basically live in the united states you need to tag at least a minimum of four people so once you've um, tagged a minimum of four different profiles on your instagram account any additional tags um, after that will be an additional um, entry to put in a, um, a random drawing to win that philodendron variegated um, domesticatum. I thought about getting a philodendron Florida beauty, but I just felt like the domesticatum is a little bit more uncommon. I have seen more phil philodendron Florida beauty um, and I didn't really want to spend too much money because if I bought both of these plants, it would be $100. And I am all about trying to give free giveaways. You will see a lot of that. I have a couple of other plants I'm, I'm wanting to do as a free giveaway but um for now i think i'm gonna go ahead and do the philodendron variegated domesticatum as the free instagram giveaway so again what you need to do is make sure that you look for that reel um, which is basically a short video that I'm going to do featuring that um, plant that I'm going to do as a free giveaway. You need to be following me. You have to be following me in order to be even eligible to, um, to um, be entered. Like the actual reel and then also tag a minimum of four people. If you, don't, if you only tag three, your entry will not be counted. You need at least four people tagged to the reel. And then any um, additional tag for the variegated domesticanum reel will count as an additional entry. You can enter as many times. You can tag over a thousand people. You'll have a, a thousand, I mean, 99 chances of being pulled from the drawing. We did have quite a bit of participation. So I found that really fun and it was 
was another way to just really grow our community. So please spread the word. If you don't have an Instagram account, go ahead and create yourself one. It is a way to get in contact with me directly, but you can see they've got a philodendron Florida um, beauty. I love that as well. I was glad that I was able to get it. Um, now these planters do not have drainage holes, so you just need to make sure you repot them. As always, this is Richie at Growfold. I really hope you enjoyed this plant shopping video at these grocery stores. I'm definitely going to have a three and a half hour marathon for Sunday fun day. So stay tuned for tomorrow's marathon. Bye.